Fun day with you, Schnozberry. Yeah, and that's why Schnozberry <laughs> tastes like Schnozberries. <laughs> Welcome, Ash wow. and Hooligans. Wrong. Uh, Wrong. We are we are back with another episode. Um, thank you, Illegal thank you for being minutes. here. Uh, yeah, most oh, most places won't allow us. Yes, Emily, <laughs> special shout out. Not this Emily. This Emily doesn't deserve a special I shout out. But you in the it. chat, Emily, you do deserve a special shout out. Hello. Um, it is good to have you back. Um, let's see here. Uh, last week, we were down at least one player. Was it just Daniel? I think it was just Daniel that was that was not here last week. Um, yeah, this week, we were down. I was taking a math test. Jeez. Hey, we, we, we roasted <laughs> you at the beginning of the session last time for not being here. <gasps> Wait, did, um, you not wa did you not watch last oh, week? Oh, he did not watch it, and I'm very much <gasps> looking forward to the recap. Um, <laughs> we uh, uh, pantomimed your oh, reaction. Oh, no. Yeah, it, it's going to be good. In the episode. Um, oh. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to Hash Brunson Hooligans. We play what most people would consider not D&D. &D. Um, but, uh, but we call ourselves a D&D &D stream. Welcome to the madness. Uh, it's mostly rules as written. We, we most certainly do not. Um, mostly. We got let's, like 75% of them. Let's go ahead, go around the table. Uh, since we have somebody in the chat who hasn't been with us since, according to their messages, since we got the chicken. Um, oh so uh, it has been wow. a while. Uh, so let's chicken. let's go ahead, go around the table, introduce ourselves, starting with Gabe. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Gabriel Mercer. I play 
Thrax, who is a null monk with a penchant for punching horses. Indeed. Used to. Now has a pen chance for making bad faith deals instead of talking to your friends. I never you guys, had a chance. You guys haven't oh, encountered a, a, yes. a horse in so long. Um, just it because of the incredible amount of legal backlash that I got. <laughs> um, for, like, PETA will not leave me alone because Thrax slapped all those horses. PETA um, Shmita. <laughs> um, <laughs> moving along. Emily. Hello, my name is Emily, and I play Nori. He's a cool fighter guy, and yeah, I'm excited for Daniel's reaction to the episode he didn't listen to. Wow, I'm so scared. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of Daniel, who are you? I'm Daniel. I am Roddy. I am an archaeologist. Mr. Money? I made trash sauce and almost drank a candle. <laughs> we should clarify, out of game. That's not a thing that almost happened in a D&D game. That's a thing that happened while we were getting set up to go live. Yeah, um, that's the players. Yeah. Uh, Elliot. Hi, I'm Daniel, and I'm a goat man and archaeologist. Noel. <laughs> Hi, I'm Daniel. You don't need to do that again. I'm a goat man and an archaeologist. Oh Okay, and I'm taking away your points of inspiration. <laughs> and Elliot, um, try I'm again. Well, high five, high five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am Elliot, and I play Rad, um, who has recently learned some things. Indeed. And gone through some stuff. Yeah. Um, stuff and, and things. And yeah. yeah. Can I just say that, like, oh, the poor kid giving the dad that, like, that choice to see if he'll stay and then just walking through that portal breaks my heart every time. You know what breaks my heart? We asked him absolutely nothing <laughs> no before questions. he went through that portal. Um, <laughs> like, you can't- you know, you think you think, oh yeah, I'm gonna send him a get save his it, thing. Save it, save it, save it for the recap. We gotta do Noel, the recap. Noel, okay. would you like and to would watch you like Daniel? To give, Hi. Would you um, like to give a real introduction of your character? Sure, oh. I'm Noel. My character's name is Billy, and they're a deep gnome, uh, Dampier, <clears> with uh, like a like a like a thin grasp on their like sanity. I think at this point. Which feels very well matched to your Zoom filter right now. It, it brings me so much joy that almost no one introduces their character in a way that is helpful to anyone who doesn't watch the show. <laughs> okay, um, so... Like, well, no, 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 no. You don't get to go back on it now. But it's, it's very entertaining because <laughs> Daniel will be helpful. like, Hello, I am a Goatman archaeologist. And everybody's like, You're a what? Uh, and yeah, then you're okay. like, I'm a deep mo, I'm a deep gnome dampier, and it's like, I'm a ranger. What's that? With uh, a chicken. Uh, and I'm Elliot's rolling. over here, like, I'm not even who I am. Um, <laughs> I, I, I get it. That is not a joke, Jim. <laughs> Apologies to anyone who had headphones in. Uh, oh, my um, oh. Actually, actually, Hunter, can yes. I please just take one more take on introducing Rad? I. Uh, is this is this going to lead into our recap of last yes. session? You absolutely yes. may. So, uh, hi, I'm Elliot. I play Rad. He is half Furbolg and half Galoris. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to kick everybody's ass! Oh my god! I hate the words that just came out of your mouth. This is uh, 100% unbelievably factual. frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Um, if I, I wish I had a sound clip to play. Uh, I I wish I had like clipped my impression of Daniel reacting to that information and yeah. could play it back to back with that because I'm pretty sure it was almost exactly what just happened. Yes. Um, I hate all. Uh, <laughs> Elliot, recap that session for us. No. Okay. Don't. okay. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I'm taking my ball and I'm going home. <laughs> He's going to go sit in the corner and drink his candle. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so we started out. Um, uh, we were at a cabin after we escaped the volcano. 
for a while as the rest of the party was slowly revived over time, over the course of, I think, like four or five days. Um, and we found an arch nearby uh, that was sort of like this natural wood arch with runes, and we determined, oh, hey, this is a fey gate. Um, and uh, as we were looking at it, uh, somebody and a giant dog started coming out of the forest nearby. Uh, the dog just ran straight to Rad and like knocked him over and was licking his face and stuff. Uh, and then a big old guy with huge horns and hooves um, uh, came out of the forest and was like, oh, get off him, Rad. And uh, we realized that's Rad's dad. So um, uh, Rad went over and hit him in the face. Uh, I think he hit him a couple of times at different like at different times. I believe um, you did punch your, your dad multiple times in the face, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, his dad then explained that he himself is a Galoras, uh, and he originated from the Feywild of just watching Daniel's face as I do this, um, and that he was trapped on this side uh, of the gate when the magic went away, and his anchor is on the other side so he can't really leave the general vicinity of the gate and uh he explained that rad is part galoris um and rad realized that the big red evil thing inside him isn't necessarily evil um and that it's also not a demon it's just part of rad it is his own power um it's it's like a little baby Galora's power inside him, um, and uh, we <laughs> Thrax tried everything to activate the gate, um, and and could not get it to happen. He snuck and up on after... it. He he <laughs> threw things at it. He uh, tried to just say every word he could. Um, yeah, it, it was. Honestly, shocking it didn't open. <laughs> Still uh, surprised. <laughs> um, after Pro a very... Honestly, probably one of the most shocking real revelations about last week's game was that Thrax couldn't open the magic door. <laughs> right? Thank you. Um, after, after a very oh. brief heart-to-heart -heart and introduction, um, Rad went outside and pumped all of his hit die into the gate, turned it on, and said, okay, Dad, go through. And his dad went through and disappeared through the gate as it turned off. Uh, and then we all realized, oh, wait, no, we needed to ask him so many questions. Uh, like, he could have told us so many things um, about Which everything that's important I, to us. I received messages from two different follow like followers over the weekend of people being like, hey, it seems weird that Rad's dad would just, like, go through if he knew he wasn't going to be able to come back. Like, it, shouldn't he have protested that a little bit? Uh, and my response was, he literally just met this guy, like, Rad, and then Rad punched him in the face multiple times and then was like, okay, open the door, get out of my house. Like, he's not going to protest that. Like, he. Get he, out of your own he was house. He was doing what he thought was best in the moment, which was if you if you don't want him there, he didn't want to be there for you. Um, and I, I think we can all agree that, um, that Rad's dad uh, was like extreme end of the deadbeat dad kind of range. Although Rad did find out that he was sending birthday cards and letters every year that Rad's mom did not give to him. Although Rad is mostly thinking like fucking Deborah's just been hiding these letters. Fucking Deborah. Fucking Deborah. Um uh and so uh then we were like, well, okay, cool. That's over. Uh and proceeded to kind of ransack dad's Rad's dad's bedroom. Um, and found some stuff. Rad got a cloak and a staff and a backpack with little wrist cuffs. Mm -hmm. 
and then wore the backpack for a while before oh, realizing, oh, wait, was, there's probably stuff in it. It was incredible. You were like, you were so frustrated <laughs> that there was no answers to anything <laughs> in, in that room. And the whole time you're holding a backpack that you haven't opened. And I'm like, I put a letter and a journal inside that backpack, my dude. Like, I don't know. I don't know what else you want. <laughs> you can lead us to water. You can't make us drink, Hunter. Not even if us, you though. drown us in it. Yeah. Speaking. <laughs> we'll drown ourselves. Speaking of drowning in water, we find a map that has an X on it, and we decide we're going to go chase that down. Um, also, Rad finds an un sent letter that his dad was going to send upon Rad's 18th birthday that said, hey, can't wait for you to come of age and you can come live with me for a while and I can teach you how to fully come into your glorious powers. <laughs> and with that, uh, Rad wow. let out a fuck that probably rended the ground itself. Um, <clears throat> uh, so we all traveled to this X in the forest and there is this uh, big, beautiful pond uh, where, um, oh, also there was, oh, Rad's dad's journal was written in, um, uh, Sylvan. is it just Faye? Sylvan. That's right. Um, in Sylvan. And so we were only able to translate like one word, which was like represented like female like kin the, or. Yeah, like kin or family but in the in the feminine tense yeah right right um and so when we got to this pond everybody else started splashing around um oh we decided that uh so um how did you guys get so much done you it feels it's funny that you, it's funny that you say am that I, because the entire I the session problem? i was like we are not doing no. anything oh no, okay we did not get much done because i'm almost okay. to the end um, we, uh, we realized that Thrax can't swim. Yes. Uh, as he tried to swim down to this cave that was underwater and very nearly drowned. Um, twice. and so, yeah, twice. Uh, because they and left so, me. <laughs> uh, who was it? Was it Shelly? Yeah, Knowing we did, I couldn't we did just sort of toss Thrax in the water and go, okay, we're going to go over here for a while. Yeah. Um. Oh, you can't uh, swim? I think, okay, see ya. <laughs> this is how you learn. Um. I think Shelly was giving Thrax swimming lessons. Yes. That was very sweet. It was going very well until also <laughs> Shelly just out of nowhere just was like, okay, bye. It yeah, ran you know off. Who saved me? The dog saved me. <laughs> Roddy yeah, helped. Rad, dog. Roddy helped. Rad, Rad, Thank Rad you, saved him. Thank you. Um, and, um, uh, but Shelly went running off because Rad saw a uh, feminine looking snake person. Which uh, we're definitely going to need Hunter to explain how that works. Um, yeah, but um, but he I just clarified went, that are it, you my sister and boobies. went running off. Oh, okay, you no did. Okay. I I clarified that it did not have boobies um, okay. because I don't subscribe to uh, uh, reptile mammaries. Um, I mean they. You clearly have no idea how snakes work, Hunter. <laughs> Do you know how snakes work? Absolutely. Uh, I laugh. Daniel's, That's Daniel's you know. looked at pictures of a lot of anthropomorphized <laughs> snake women. Mm. <laughs> Look, I grew up in the uh, 80s. That's all we had, okay? <laughs> that oh, man. in the barbarian. <laughs> oh, Strong start. Anyway, still recapping. Strong start. Please continue. Still in snake, the snake lady knocked out Rad while he was chasing her, mm -hmm. uh, yelling, "Are you my sister?" At her, <laughs> um, uh, Shelly, as the snake lady ran off, and uh, then we found an underwater cave mm -hmm. um, that was littered with bones mm -hmm. and the sort of belongings of what looked like the local guards, because we're. We're very close to Helenior. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, you found uh, armor that was recognized as being uh, armor from the guards of Helenior. Yeah, and so we determined that we're not far, super far from where we fought that troll early on in the campaign. 
Um, oh, we and, did. Uh, yes. Yeah, we, we realized oh. it's the general area. Ge generally not far. Yeah. Like, you don't yeah, know like, where in relation to that you are, but generally right. same, same portion of the continent. Um, <laughs> oh. So, um, uh, so anyway, we were doing that and looking around, trying to decide, should we just kill this snake lady? Oh, we found eggs. Um, and um, so you took the eggs. No, we left the eggs. Oh. Uh, we were, I think we were about to leave, and then we realized that the snake lady was maybe in the water, or we heard. Oh no, you Rad the, was barking. You heard the dog. Barking. Rad was barking. Yep. Um. Uh. So Rad was barking up above water in the pond, uh, and I, we were headed up there, and that's where we ended the session. Yes. You were swimming up uh, towards the surface. Um, was I? Uh, <laughs> Thrax was Lailing being dragged the through surface. the water towards the surface. Um, so, uh, you guys are swimming up towards the surface. Um, I need all of you uh, to make me athletics checks just to get started here. Do I get advantage on this one? I feel uh, like I Nori, should. Nori, you do not need to roll. <laughs> I was about to say. We we once discussed that goats are very good swimmers. Can I get advantage on this? Did we? I feel like we did. Goats we did are, actually. They are good. We, deter we yes, determined lady. that there's there are a lot of goats that will like cross small um, like seas out to islands and stuff. They are surprisingly good, like moose. Uh, yeah. What am I rolling? Yeah, okay. None of this can be verified. <laughs> Hunter, what am I rolling? Right What's up? What am I rolling? Uh, you are rolling athletics. Okay. I didn't even have alchemy open. I'm doing. I know. Great. Great. I can I can see who has alchemy open. <laughs> no. <laughs> so um, I was I was sitting, the only reason I asked everybody to roll right off the bat was because I knew you didn't have it open. Um, okay. Uh... So, uh, Thrax, you j you dive into the water. Uh, you start swimming towards the surface. Uh, you're you're doing great. Uh, going up way easier than going down. Uh, you do kick Billy right in the face as you're doing so, which disorients them. Um, they are, they are like swimming all yeah. around. Uh, Rad with a 25, you just sort of grab Billy and just keep swimming. Um, and uh, mouthing, it's okay, I don't need to breathe. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Not even bubbles coming out of my mouth at this point. It's gross. As you as you breach the surface, um, like a whale, like a whale, uh, Ronnie just. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you breach the Go surface, whale. Uh, you see two things right off the bat. One, Rad is on the uh, um, is on the shore, just barking his head off, staring off into the woods. Um, two, you see the vibe of the woods here have changed drastically. Um, when you got here, it was this very peaceful, inviting, like, beautiful pond. And the woods have sort of seemed to darken. And it's this fog that has rolled in. Uh, it has a much eerier vibe now. Um, who harshed the vibes? That's who, treasure fog. Who harshed the vibes? Keep an eye out. Um, it's treasure fog. <laughs> Um, this is winter's fog. This is winter's fog. <laughs> winter's fog. Uh, hey, fog is just the prison of weather. As you guys are breaching the surface, you're like getting up, looking around. What are you guys doing? Uh, uh, I'm gonna look at where Rad is. Like, like he's not just barking in circles. Like he's probably no, facing he is, a certain he direction. Is pointed in a specific direction. Uh, in like a like a low, uh, almost like a pouncing position, uh, fur just sort of on end. Uh, like he looks like he is ready to attack something. What's he look? Uh, uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at his eye line and see where he's looking and barking and see if you I got an all fours next to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big rad gets next to also pretty big rad. Um, <clears throat> Make me a perception check, Red. Okay. Uh, 
do I get any help because because Rad is helping Rad? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, Rad the dog is giving you the health action in this perception check. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> With a 24. Hey! Uh, way better. Looking through the woods um, and listening, you can hear hoofbeats. Um, and looking through, you can see uh, a few horses um, with soldiers on their backs, uh, heavily armored, riding through the woods. Thrax, punch him. I mean... Am I um, out of the pond yet? You are out of the pond. Um, okay. Rad, with a 24, you can also see uh, emblazoned on their chests is the seal of Halanor. Okay. Uh, are they headed this direction? Like, Roughly. Roughly. Okay. It darks, bro. Um, um, I, uh, some Halanor soldiers are coming this way. Are we still wanted in Helenior? Uh, I mean, we were arrested and imprisoned and uh, uh, exported? What's that word? There's another word that's not exported. Uh, kidnapped. Extradited. Um, extradited. <laughs> and so a, we're probably cool there now, right? Uh, no, we my, were my family by criminals. doesn't do anything <laughs> above board. <laughs> we we were probably... extradited by criminals is a fantastic <laughs> line. Um... <laughs> You you were not you were oh, not technically that's right. extradited. You were kidnapped. <laughs> People broke into the jail, killed a bunch of guards, uh, and right? took you. So we were stolen. We're valuable yeah, we merchandise. Were, yeah, exactly. We're stolen <laughs> yeah. property. I see no issue. Can't put a price on this ass. Roddy shakes his little goat butt. <laughs> are we <laughs> hidden from like the guards? Are the guards coming towards us? Or are we like they're? heading in the direction of the pond like not 100 percent um like directly towards you but roughly in this direction um Can I you make us you are dunk? all uh, except for rad everybody else is in the water um mm -hmm. the dog is barking like crazy mm -hmm. uh, so real quick I... maybe we don't make Boy. the window mistake again and like not yep. immediately run or kill things and just yep. see <laughs> sick Good boy. See right? What they, what they want? <laughs> right? Oh, I was going to say, okay. My original plan Wipe was to ask if I could make a stealth check to try to climb a tree and get a vantage point. But that is an immediate hostile action. So, Thrax, Thrax is I probably mean, it, right there. It, is, it is up to you. I don't know if that's a hostile action. I would like to I'm break the window and escape out to the roof. No. <laughs> yeah, where's like the nearest um, window? I, I would like, like to, to uh, I would like to throw a chair through the window and grab Thrax's uh, <laughs> lifeless body and take off across the rooftops. Right. Thank you. Someone um, thinking sensibly. We know this playbook. Uh, I I definitely will uh, try to calm down Rad. Okay. Make an animal um, handling check. Uh, you have advantage on it body. because uh, of your connection and also you sort of understand your your feelings. Double Rad. And our Sammy God. Um, you, you put your hand on, uh, on Thrax, sort of, or on, a uh, Rad and sort of scritch behind the ears. Um, they're the same thing. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm so used to doing that for Thrax. Um, sort of feel the, the, the hackles on the back of its neck sort of lay down a little bit, but still very, very tense. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna shush him and kind of... Just not push him down, down but just, just sort of like low growl. Yeah, I'm I'm giving him <laughs> sort of like some pressure on on the back of his neck, just like okay, crouch down, so that he hunches down in the water a little bit. Okay. Make a stealth. And I'll, I'll do the gonna, same. Yeah, make a stealth check for me. I'm gonna make a stealth check for this dog. Okay. Do I get advantage because I'm in the water? Uh, yeah, I'll give you advantage. One, because you're in the water. Two, because uh, you just sort of look like a bush. Um, <laughs> but uh, you you lay down uh, into the uh, into the sludge here. Uh, Rad is sort of just the humanoid equivalent of a ghillie suit. Yeah, he, um, he is a living yeah. ghillie suit. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Gilly. Uh, you lay down. Uh, Rad sort of lays down next to you, uh, still just growling this deep low growl 
What um, is everybody how, else doing? Is the water clear or is it murky? Uh, the water is still that beautiful clear blue. Okay, and then um, I was gonna like go under, but that's not gonna work. I, uh, I'm gonna go again. It does go deep enough that like if you go deep, it would be dark under the water, but like it, it's still like you'd have to be deep down at that point. Take me with you. <laughs> Do you have to? Can you <clears throat> breathe underwater? Uh, Thrax does currently believe that he can breathe underwater. Um, oh, yeah. I, Roddy, oh, I, I, you do have one less hit die, uh, than you normally would. Uh, I had you use transmutation to make Thrax able to breathe water. Um, so, uh, Thrax, Thrax currently believes that he is fireproof and can breathe water. <coughs> Um, then um, I'm yeah, slowly I'm becoming Avatar the master of all four elements. <laughs> I'm gonna grab Thrax and then go down. And then there's a cave. Was there like a little like air pocket underneath the water? Yes, the yeah. cave. The cave yeah. is an air pocket. Yeah. How so like down that like we can't like we're not noticeably visible and like out of the way for whoever's. Coming. Is the cave fully or- underwater or is there an air pocket in the cave? I just answered that. <laughs> Uh, oh, the, I'm so sorry. The, the, cave, the cave is an air pocket. Yeah, you swim down and you go through like a little channel, and then yeah. it opens up into an air pocket. Like, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna bring us down to like not necessarily like, like kind of like at the mouth of the cave if it's far enough to be like just so like we can see. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. <laughs> um, just so that uh, yeah, like so we can kind of see what they're sort of maybe see what they're doing, and then but also like get out of the way if we need to. Um, did uh, we leave our stuff? like near the outside of the lake to like take a dip in there a lot of your equipment is on the side of the uh the the water yes i would like to make a stealth check and get out of the lake and try to grab my stuff okay make a stealth check for me Uh, Um, how many how many guards are there uh you want to make a perception check yeah i'll make the perception check before the stealth go for it uh 21 perception 21 um from what you can see, you can see about eight, um, maybe a, a couple more than that. Yeah. Okay. So it would it would probably be a tough fight. Um, also, I do want to address in the chat. Sakura asked uh, if the fireproof the fireproofness was explained to to Thrax already. Uh, you are relying fairly heavily on Thrax actually understanding what that meant. <laughs> um, so. Fireproof and water breathing. Only two elements to go. I mean, he can already breathe oxygen. So really just the one. And he's covered in dirt all the time. So really, the master of all four elements right now. We need to get... Long ago, the hooligans lived in peace until Burpool attacked. It's um, <laughs> a nat 20 stealth check plus 11. 31, baby. Wow, that is a nat 20. Wow. Um, I... Roddy, you wanted to go back into the water, or did you want to get up into the tree? Uh, I want to get up in the tree. Absolutely. With, with I, my stuff. You you just sort of, like, grab your stuff, you toss other... With a 20 or a 31, you grab your stuff, you toss other people's stuff to them, and you just run up into the tree all silently. Uh, you just, like, <laughs> perfectly nestle yourself up into the tree. Uh, it's a... Um, it's one of the, what's the, uh, the trees with the white bark on it, um, birch, birch tree. Birch yeah. It's one of those. So baby. It's, it's a birch tree. So you just like push yourself up against it and you just blend directly <laughs> into the side of it. Um, oh, it's incredible. I've been playing a lot of, I've been playing a lot of call of duty and I would like to say that Roddy has the ro- uh, the silent perk. Okay. <laughs> duty. I don't know what that means. I will take your okay. word for it. Um, I'm invisible basically to got sound. it. Um, invisible to sound. <laughs> sound can't see me. We're doing uh, oh man, sound is the vision of the ears. Um, <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> uh, you guys, I, uh, Nori, what are what are you doing? I guess I'm just gonna hide in the water. Okay. Uh, I so have a Thrax, in the water. Thrax, so. <laughs> Billy, Nori, Shelly, I uh, all drop down into the water. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to go quite as far as those two did. Sure. Because I still want to be able to... You blend in a little bit more in the water than the others do. Um, Rad, you staying, like, on the edge there? Yeah, so I would imagine I'm on the edge of the deep part 
of the pond, right? Sure. Like, sort of sunk down in on that ledge, just, like, looking yeah, over it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm definitely not floating in the water, mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm kind of... Because Rad's so big, hunched the, down in the, the water other, is the still mostly out be, of the water. The other option would be, like, on the very edge, like, tucked into the bushes. That's probably your best bet to stay, like, out of line of sight. Um... Okay, actually, I like that. I mean, I don't want to separate too much, but Rad does look more like a bush than he does something that would be in the water. It's true. I've always said that about Rad. <laughs> um, Rad looks more like a bush than an ostrich. Uh, <laughs> you you tuck yourself in behind this bush here. Uh, you can see... Uh, as these these troops are getting closer, you can see uh, there are um, there are three horses, uh, and it looks like nine total guards, um, three on horseback uh, and uh, six on foot. Um, the one up front is clearly much heavier armored, uh, massive helmet on their head. Uh, just this huge sword uh, hanging off the side of the horse. You doing anything rad or roddy? You two are the only ones that are up on the surface right now. I, I, Roddy's very confident that he's hidden, so I'm just gonna stay up there. Uh, I'd like to prepare an action to shoot an arrow in case things do become violent. Um, okay. But I'm, the I'm... water to send us a message <sighs> about the peaceful intent of the guards that are approaching that you're going to talk to? No, no, no. I'm waiting to see right. if your peaceful approach doesn't work. There's to get a no one left attack. to talk to except a bush and you. <laughs> I set the bush on fire. <laughs> uh... And you're invisible. <laughs> I just um, want to stay hidden. Roddy's not ready for interaction just yet. This is It's the dog test. We'll just send the dog out, and how they respond to that animal will determine whether or not they're good or bad. If, he, if they R. hurt R. the dog, we hurt buddy. them back. I think that is a perfectly valid way to play d d <laughs> if, if they hurt the dog, we tear every single one of their limbs off. Uh, agreed. I'm, I'm uh, all in on this, by um, the way. <laughs> okay. What yeah. what I would like to do is do I recognize any of these? Because we did have some relationship you have, with you have interacted with them before. <gasps> oh, um, is it okay. the captain? Go ahead and uh, make me a perception check, Rad. Um, okay. Twenty one. I. Uh, you see, you don't recognize any of the guards. Um, but the, the one on the horse, uh, up front, the one that looks like they're in charge, um, their markings would designate them as the captain. You know, the captain of the guards of Helenor. It's the same guy. Um, so it could be the same person, could be a different person, same title, uncertain. Definitely, Captain... definitely heavier equipped than any time you've encountered them before. Okay. Right, His name, right. the captain's so name was Pharaoh. He died during our jailbreak. Pharaoh Aganor? Is that his name? Uh, wow, make, that's a full. Make a, make a history check. Captain Dang. Jack Pharaoh. Did you take notes or did you just have like a young that's, brain? That's a nat 20. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> Get out of here. You got uh, waffle style, uh, like level uh, luck here. Daniel, Daniel, I am going to give you uh, a DM point of inspiration uh, for well, for remembering right. it. Um, it is it is not Captain Agnor, uh, or it's not Captain Pharaoh Agnor. It is Captain Agnor Pharaoh. Um, oh, but, so close. But oh, you, God, but you did it. get both wow. names, and neither of those are easy names. So right. well done. This. Steel trap. Everything comes in, nothing comes out. How'd you do on that test yesterday? No. Uh, last week, I think I did really well. Okay. I'm very confident. Uh, there's, I am I think, too, one after question that. that I got wrong. I think probably. you nat 20 that test, too. Thanks. Appreciate it. Roll for math. We got waffles level <laughs> of, uh, of d20 luck today. 
Good yeah. on you. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Gotta burn them the all out of the, of the session, dice right now. <laughs> the yeah. rest of the session is just not ones. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you would say that out loud, but okay, here we go. Gotta manifest it. Yeah. Um, Emily told me I had skin that looked like cake frosting. <laughs> that is not what I said! <laughs> <laughs> the amount of words you put in her mouth. No, that, I, I, I'm pretty sure that was verbatim. I thought she said rich caramely goodness. <laughs> Sounds um, like it was close. We're in that neighborhood. Like the I'm not mending this. Nope. <laughs> I'm not I'm not continuing. Um <laughs> Rude. Roddy Roddy, you do remember uh the name of the captain. You look down, you see the um you see Similar the, build? Similar build. Uh Captain Agonor Pharaoh has a uh, a fairly distinct build because he is uh, dwarven, but he's large for a dwarf. He was uh, uh, about five feet tall, um, so he is on the on the the taller end of of being a dwarf. Um, also, a bit more uh, uh, lithe uh, than than most dwarves. You guys were operating under the assumption that he was probably half dwarven. Um, no, I'm I'm tempted. He, did, he liked us, right? Kinda. He he was he was uh, yeah, yeah. He helped you out a lot. Yeah. Uh, um. Okay. What does it look like they're doing right now? Like, oh, make a. I will let this be either insight or survival. Definitely gonna be survival. The fact that he's asking for a survival check deeply concerns me. <laughs> what are we gonna have to survive? Sixteen. Ourselves. Sixteen. Um, <laughs> these guys look like they are decked out for a hunt. Okay, but they're probably okay. not hunting us. They don't even know we're here. Right. We've right. Been gone for months. They're probably hunting the li- the the snake person that's here, who has been killing Helenior guards. Do we know where she is? Um, do we no, know she it's ran... the snake lady killing them? We found a den. It's it, it might not be her den. <laughs> it had two I eggs mean, in it. Okay, fair. I mean, that's a good point. It could be a different <laughs> lizard. Are you an eggologist? Or... I'm just saying there's other... several questionable well, you go down in monsters the... oh, in this yeah. forest. I mean, so, those, could, those, those could be ostrich eggs. Hmm. Oh, um, don't you dare. Eggs. They don't were I mean, they about are the underwater. size of ostrich eggs. They're an ostrich's natural habitat. I will burn <laughs> this entire forest to the ground. <laughs> Man, I wish I were telepathic because I would be saying all of this right now. Um, Billy is just in the underwater cave, and just behind her, here's like, uh, like eggs cracking. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> um, I. Rad is 100% going to just stay down in bush form. Um, um, I, I, I would like to imagine that he is like kind of covering up the dog, like sandwiching himself and uh, a bush around Rad. This There's, feels like the, the equivalent of the, the cardboard box in Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like just. Yes. So Is there any way that Boop. Billy can hear Go me? <laughs> that Billy can hear you? Does B- Billy, with your, I know you have like the the power to like talk from like a different, like you can make sound from like a different place. Oh come. no, I yeah, have, that's just illusion, I have the feet though. of no no no. I have the he's talking about my ventriloquist. Oh, feet. the ventriloquist feet, yeah. Which allows me to throw my voice and replicate, um, which I hate using due to the stipulations you make me, the hoops you make me jump through. <laughs> you have to do an impression to do that? Yeah, mm. every time I say that I'm using that feat, he's like, oh, and, and just how do they sound while I'm saying that? Um, and yeah, it's but horrible. Daniel's question is if you can throw your voice, can you can also you, catch can his voice? Can you catch his <laughs> voice? Oh my God. Can I catch um, it? Voice. Can we play catch? Is, if you throw it, can you catch it? Unfortunately. That is logic right there, and I love it. Unfortunately, <laughs> no. Uh, that has the same vibe as one of my old uh, one of my old players <laughs> when I was in high school uh, argued that uh, if he could cast breathe water, 
uh, it should be able to work the opposite way, and so he should be able to drown. breathe, just like breathe air out, and it comes out as water. Um, oh no! And just like <laughs> breathe water. Um, yeah, oh, it, was, it was very fun. We ended up making a a, a custom magic item for him uh, that was the wand of reversal uh, okay. that just allowed him to like reverse the way that spells worked when he cast them. Um, oh, yeah, it was great. So um, there's no way for me to communicate essentially through like a message cantrip to Billy so that Billy could throw my voice elsewhere from the guard so I could communicate without revealing my hiding spot. Unfortunately, no. All right. Um, oh, wait, no, you, no, you have transmutation. You can create right, like a, one of those like two, like a, one of the, God, like, you know, the gramophone oh, horns. Yeah, yeah, like, like yeah, on the like, playgrounds. Like, oh, God. Yeah. Really, <laughs> yep. yeah. Okay, oh, how many hit the dice, trees, how many dice would it take for me to make a little pipe through the trees to allow <laughs> oh my voice my to come from the other side? Nope, we're doing this. <laughs> hey, I, it's I creative. I'll I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I will set a, a DC for it. I will not tell you what it is. Is it does can I make it can Roddy make an arcana check to see how difficult this would be? I'm trying to find out what the DC make, is. Make an arcana <laughs> check, Robbie. <laughs> You're the last D20 of the entire game session <laughs> till the end. Hilarious. I think you should make a you, pneumatic tube. You know that Billy is underwater, uh, which means that in order to transmit no, the sound, you need no, to- no, no. Just, no, 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 no. just for my voice to be on the other side so I don't reveal my hiding spot to Captain- Oh, Hagenor to just Tyler. like have your voice yeah. come out somewhere else? Yeah. yeah. And so that they can't hear my voice in the trees. Because yeah. yeah. I'm very proud of my nat 20 and I don't so want to stop So like, it creates like a little dome <laughs> that he can fit over his mouth and yeah. talk into it and then the voice comes out somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah, this is some playground. It, it, it <laughs> is some... Like... I'll, I mean, you can certainly try. That is an easier task, I feel like, than trying oh, to make God. the tree into a pneumatic to, to speak to Billy underwater. <laughs> okay. He would like to turn the tree into a tin can with a string and another tin can <laughs> right. on the other end. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll use, I have one less, we're level six now? Yes. Yeah. So that means I Fully have five. Rested. So I'll use, I'll use three. Okay. Go for it. I'll use, yeah, I'll use three. <laughs> okay. Roll them. Did it work? I tried doing it through the message thing, but I don't know if it worked. Uh, is, is my thing just frozen? I don't, I don't see anything yet. Okay, I'll just do it like regular style. There. Eight. Eight. <laughs> one. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a 17. Um, what are you What are you trying to say? What, uh, what words are you trying to send to elsewhere? Uh, I, I want for the guards to be able to hear it without giving away my location. I would like to say, hello, Captain Farrow. Uh, it's Roddy with Father Pacris's special gang. We've been away for a long time. A lot to catch up on. By any chance, are you hunting a you snake a lady? Yeah. We might be able to help. Okay. Uh, Much love. No. <laughs> XO, XO. <laughs> I love you. Rad, make me a perception check. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, 13. 13. I, uh, from a little ways away across the, the pond on the other side, um, you see uh, there is a uh, sort of weirdly shaped stump um, and you stump. see you see the the bark on it just sort of rips open into what looks like a mouth uh, <laughs> and and just says exactly what Roddy just said um, and you hear like you see the the horses sort of stop all the soldiers draw weapons and you see the captain sort of holds up a hand and then makes a fist. Uh, 
and all of them begin spreading out and moving towards the pond. Should have called Red, Daddy Pacris. <laughs> Red immediately is like, oh no. Roddy has finally turned himself into a stump or something. Because because his stealth check was <laughs> incredible. So insanely yeah, good. You, you did not Ed see him no get into that tree. Where he is. Uh, as uh, far as you are concerned, like, that stump the, 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 is the stump Roddy. Is, is yeah. Roddy. Um, yeah. Am I am I aware that the that the guards are moving? You you have li- you have line of sight to them. Yes, they are uh, spreading out and moving towards the pond. Captain, I ask you to please halt your men. Uh, we would like to resolve this very peacefully. We've been in danger for quite some time. Um. Uh, you start trying to have those words leave the stump, uh, and then you see slow the the words start. They're like uh, Captain Bob, and then you see the the wood just seems to reform, and then you hear just this muffled sound, uh, and then it stops. Why did that happen? Can I make an Arcana check? You make an Arcana check. Do I have to? I don't want to keep. Rolling my dice, ten. Uh, Roll those hit points. You think that when you no. when you cast the spell, uh, you essentially sent a a message that was transmitted. Um, more like it, a sending. It, more like a sending than a like an open line of communication. Um. Does he does he start does he do anything with the beginning part? Because like the first words I said were, "Please stop your men." I. <laughs> You see, he dismounts um, and begins moving that way. You also begin seeing (sighs) several of the guards have lit torches and are moving towards the water. What if they're hunting us? Are they approaching the stump? Uh, They are approaching the stump, yes. How would they know we were here, honestly? No, they were coming here. How, like, this seems like it's like a sacred they're, pool. So I feel like they're definitely they're haunting here the monster Snake that lived here. Yeah. I, they're hunting whatever lived here. I mean, we, we reestablished last week that Helenior was known for monster fighting. Yeah. Um, and, and the black gates that they had that monsters lived in or came out of, I don't know. Um, um, can I see... Schnauzer. Un- un- inappropriate. Um, can I see the people are down, like, coming to You are the- down underneath the water. Yeah. You can just barely see like firelight flickering okay. on the, the surface. Can I like ready uh, an illusion action if they start to come into the water? Ooh, to just like cloak you guys? Oh, I guess I could do that too. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to have a snake lady run, like, come out of the water. <laughs> that seems a lot harder. <laughs> I, I really like... I want to use my I want to use my illusion magic to make me look like a snake lady. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Create, like, remember the first episode when I made those, like, those, like, like, nutcracker type, like, soldiers that, like, were not very convincing? Yeah. I feel like I'm better than that now. I can do that again. I can do that, but, but better. <laughs> There's like major um, and minor illusion. I don't feel like you're. I don't know if that's a, a level of spell that you could do. Billy believes. So, <laughs> what you you want I guess to I will hide us. I will you want us. to hold on to it to essentially just like black out uh, over you guys. Yeah. That's yeah. That's easy enough to okay. do. Um, is that is that does that require dice or is that like an, like easy enough just darkening that I don't need to roll any dice? Um. I I would say I would say with that one um if you if you want to ensure that it is very strong um spend a die. Okay. If you want to if you want to just like cloak you guys and like I uh, everybody roll stealth and I'll give you a bonus to your stealth for it. Yeah. Uh you can have it for free. Oh, hey. Right. <laughs> um, you. What was the teeth say? Uh, We're good. Okay. You, you just make darkness cloak you guys. Um, Rad, Roddy, you see uh, two of these guards that have the torches out, 
um, approach the stump. One of them sort of kicks the stump. Um, uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. What what you doing, Roddy? Oh, I I <laughs> didn't upgrade my HP, so I just got five more hit points. For oh, my nice. Axe. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Rad comes to stump Roddy's defense as they start a- assaulting him. <laughs> you just you burst out of the out of the bush. <laughs> I burst nose. out of the bush and I okay. I wouldn't say I burst out of the bush. I'm still not like going full assault mode, but I am like standing up and just going like, "Hey, don't hurt him. He's just talking." <laughs> okay, uh, you you rise up out of the bush um one of the one of the guards who was like nearby just sort of spins uh sword out um make a persuasion check rad uh oh uh, can i can i give up my hiding spot put my hands up uh and be like no no no, no. everything's okay uh we're just a little bit scared to like give give advantage to drop down to shoulders. Rad so that so like we're not in we come in we come in peace why is why sure. Would you do that now. I'll, I'll give. Okay. I'll give. Uh, I'll give the help action. Awesome. Well, because Rad is potentially intimidating looking. Is she? <laughs> yes, he um, is. Zero charisma. It. It is. It is good. He had the advantage. He rolled a nine on the first one. I got you. Um, you. Uh, you sort of like slide down the tree, down to next to the bush. Uh, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay. Um, you see. The captain walks to- forward, um, takes the helmet off. Uh, you see Captain Pharaoh. Um, Imagine there's just some other dude. Oh my god, that sucks <laughs> so bad. Uh, he looks you both over, just says, Why am I not surprised it's you two? I mean, honestly, I would think it'd be kind of surprising. We've been really, really far away for a a little while. Actually, I don't think it's been that long. I think it's been like a couple of weeks. Oh, that's it? Maybe three? We were asleep for a lot of that, and we haven't really looked at the calendar. It's been a bit. That's a good point. I really don't know what days and stuff are. He draws the sword, takes a couple steps towards you. What are you doing here? You know, honestly, that's a good question. Um, because we're we're just sort of. We were able to find. I'm just gonna cover my mouth two years ago. And like. Like, gate, like, are you okay with us revealing that your dad was here? Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, my dad li- lived around here. He doesn't anymore. Um, because I made him go away. Um, um, so he's not with us anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, and Nori's gonna pop out of the water slowly. <laughs> two his two guards just home. spin with their weapons towards the water as Nori rises All right. up. <laughs> All right. What he means is, <laughs> is that his dad used to live in a cabin not too far from here. He has now moved away. Rad. <laughs> yes. Rad, I, you I, him I made him move step. on. <laughs> Stop no. I, I made my like dad move dead. on. <laughs> Your dad to, moved out to another world, um, just to a different place. I, right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're, but you're, the way you're phrasing it makes it sound like he's dead, which Captain, is very Captain untrue. Captain Pharaoh just very raises suspicious. a hand. <laughs> um, yes, Captain. Y- yes, Captain Pharaoh. Your father. See the giants that live nearby. I'm not a hundred percent what he was exactly, but like big horns, hooves, he was tail. Dead. This is his dog. And he's gone now. Yes. He turns towards the other guards. He's gone. 
Find the snake. Oh. And you see they begin Wait. spreading out. He turns back to you. Wait. Where are Wait, the others? You, you were you were here to hunt down my dad? Where are the others? O other what? Your companions. Where are they? Oh. Like little fish illusions to distract Thrax. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thrax is just um, biting at illusory fish in the water. <laughs> I mean, they're around here somewhere. I was a bush for a good minute, so I kind of lost track. I was up in the trees. We, we, we heard you coming, and we all got kind of spooked. Just don't really know where they are. He, he tilts his head towards you guys. And he says, Could we offer assistance to help find the snake lady? I would like to Have do my best for it? this to be... Uh, out, of, out of Roddy, Daniel's asking, did Roddy see the snake Roddy lady? Roddy did see time? the snake lady, yes. Uh, I would, I would, I would snitch on the snake lady. Here. Was the, was the snake <laughs> lady friendly to us? No, she knocked Red out. But yeah, okay. So I but feel no remorse in snitching. Family, his family knocks right. each other out all the time. <laughs> See Is how he Deborah? treated his dad. No <laughs> snitching on magic people. Yeah, I don't feel great about this anymore. Sniss, snisses get hisses. Yeah. Yeah, what he said. Snisses get hisses. No, what? <laughs> no. Is like I like I do I notice that the things are still like that they're still like on the thing of the They seem to have moved. Okay, they're away. You um, you don't have line of sight to like the shoreline okay. from under the water. Um but you don't see the torchlight anymore. Okay. We're oh. babysitting her ostrich children. We can't just oh. <laughs> Okay. I feel um, like we'd be like up in the air pocket at this point. Okay, first off, ostriches, pretty sure they're not from let do they don't come from eggs. Two you know. if these are ostriches there's a snake lady who came out here, but like should we like take the eggs with us so that they can't oh, get them? God. So the real question is, do you think they belong to someone? I mean, they have to come from somewhere. They just can't mm -hmm. You just don't get babies from nowhere. Eggs don't just spawn. You don't? I mean, if you go back far enough, eventually. We don't uh, have time for this. Right. <laughs> so but... if they belong to someone, I can't take them. Okay. Eat. I think that... We can take if... one. Huh? And we can eat one. <laughs> no. Oh, we already... Waffles, who is up in the trees, I'm assuming, hopefully. Uh, We're in a cave. We're in a cave. No, no, but like the waffle, we can get eggs from waffles. Um, so I guess the question is, if you thought that somebody's kids were in danger, would you protect them? Well, because these eggs are somebody's kids. Not yet. Though. They could also be somebody's. Can I touch the eggs and just see how like developed they are? Can I feel like they're moving make underneath Make a nature it? check. You've handled a lot of waffles eggs. Uh, <laughs> totally the same. Totally the same. Yeah. Yes. You same know thing. ostriches very well. <laughs> a 19. Uh, these, uh, you you sort of walk over, look them over. You feel the the outside <laughs> of the, why you, why uh, that the outside of the egg doesn't feel... Um, as uh, like Love. hard and cold as you have experienced with uh, with waffles, um, and are you are you picking them up? Yeah, I'm gonna pick up one to like kind of see a sense if it's like if it's like a fertilized picking it up. You can egg. you can feel a little bit of movement on the inside. Okay. Oh, um, these, these eggs are also a little bit of... more like. Um, uh, thin and leathery. Um, they don't feel like like hard eggshell. Um, they're skin eggs. 
Yeah. The, no, the, the, what, the yeah. snakes have soft. Split snake eggs. Yeah. Feel like snake eggs. Outside of like fantasy eighties. Snake ladies lay handbags. Confirm. <laughs> Unacceptable. Um, but yeah, so like I'm gonna like slowly turn and be like, see, like, and then like take uh, Thrax's hand and gently put it on the side. Just oh, like there's, oh. there's, there's a, it's not a thing. It's a, it's gonna be a snake person. I feel really conflicted. Are all eggs like this? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the eggs we eat are unfertilized, so they never become anything. What does that mean? All right, we can have this conversation <laughs> later. Okay. No, we're we'll doing it now on you're stream. Gonna, you're going to have to give Thrax the uh, the chickens and the snake stock. The, yeah. The, the snowsberries and the pole vaulters. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, when two <laughs> compatible, if, if a snake lady and a compatible species come love each other very much. Compatible species. <laughs> Great well for um, this conversation. They can come together and... Uh, her, uh, basically, uh, I believe oh. the, the, the eggs come, and then the 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 other fertilizes them, and huh? then uh, <laughs> the baby grows. Yeah. Meanwhile, I back up so. top. <laughs> uh, you let that go on way too long. Uh, Captain Pharaoh walks towards you, Roddy, sword still in hand, um, and you can see that as he gets closer to you the sword begins glowing a little bit. He looks down and looks back up at you. And he says, If you can aid us in hunting down this creature, we will take that into consideration at your trial. Okay. Um, I know it looks... We can get into this conversation about okay. Um, short uh, which thing. offense are we being charged for? Just so I. <laughs> he so looks. I can... He looks back at the <laughs> at the water. Murder for one. Right. Now, that Escape was the and slaughter of guards for a second. Sorry, our now reservation should have been murder us. for two. To be fair, we were kidnapped from prison, but sure. Um, so, I, let me, I need to ask you uh, again, were you here to hunt my dad? And once you sprinkle over the eggs, essentially you wait. <laughs> um, chickens yeah. will slay, sit on the eggs, but sometimes I think snake ladies can leave them alone for long periods of time. It's confusing. It's but... only chickens. Chickens are the only animals that can lay on any creature's eggs. Interesting. Oh, it does it like incubate it faster? And maybe yeah. I should have brought waffles down. Chicken Anyways, uh, I'm gonna fashion a baby Bjorn out of my jacket uh -huh. uh, for the eggs. Okay, sure, sure, sure. And um, then one on. Thrax. I'm I'm a little worried. Do you think they're gonna be able to breathe underwater? Yeah. Captain Pharaoh takes another step towards you, um, Rad. Um, you see that blade grows brighter the closer he gets to you. And he says, There is an order that we are sworn to hold. Your father worked against that order. I did not come here to hunt your father. But I was prepared for the fight if it arose. So you knew him? No, like you knew? Like, you knew my dad, right? My troops have encountered him before, yes. Uh, can what kind of vibes is he putting off? Like, like is it like 
oh yeah, we knew your dad was here. We weren't sure what was going on with him. So we were kind of ready to fight him if we needed to, or it was like, we know exactly who your dad is. And he, sure, we weren't exactly here to hunt him, but we kind of were here to hunt him. He definitely doesn't seem like, oh yeah, your dad and I went to college together. <laughs> um, we like, were roommates. We were roommates. Uh, the, uh, the, the vibe is definitely... Your, we, your father had, and I actually spent a, several magical years together. <laughs> um, it's a bad breakup, and now I'm here to kill him. Yeah. The non-egg bird um, talk. <laughs> uh, uh, Captain, Captain Pharaoh is actually your stepdad. Um, With he, <sighs> his, his vibe, and Aganor. His vibe is definitely, we have something we were here to accomplish and knew that your dad would stand in the way. Mm. Dad protected oh. snake we can't, we can't, yeah, we can't, we can't kill the snake lady, guys. Like, oh, yeah, no, I I'm, would actually oh. prefer if we helped her escape. Um, yeah, so, so, like, you, you pretty much thought you were gonna have to fight my dad <gasps> while you were chasing this snake lady. Which means my dad was protecting her. You see, he sort of takes a step back and readjusts the grip on the handle of the sword. And he says, This doesn't have to end poorly for you. It always does. I mean, we no, watch the show because. No, it, it doesn't have to end poorly for me. But it might end poorly for you, and he's gonna rage out and like yep. just lunge at him. Oh, you're shit. you're full you're fully raging out. <laughs> fully raging out. Oh god. Okay, I'm ready. I just want to follow uh, the logic here. We went from peacefully talking to them, potentially letting them at least turn around to go look in the woods and get the jump <laughs> on them, to we, thinking out loud about the moral quandary we were suffering from, and then raging and attacking. <laughs> Seventeen well, and a half year I old. Didn't, in character, boy. I didn't say that out loud because no, no, no. A little farther than yeah. that. Hundred uh, percent. Rad's still not a hundred percent sure this snake lady isn't his sister. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. and if his dad was gonna protect Snake Lady, I mean, Rad does not historically make very good decisions, and probably shouldn't be the point person to have conversations. Just so you know, we can't go back to Helenur after this. <laughs> what, what I heard <laughs> was, <laughs> Thrax, it's your fault, because right. Rad yep. shouldn't have had to talk. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Um, how many eggs are there? There are two. Okay, uh, definitely we're... <laughs> the, end of the, the end of this conversation is we're both, like, an egg is, like, kind of, like, satcheled onto each of us. Yeah. So now if we get split up, or one gets taken, the other egg can grow up to avenge and, and get the other people out of whatever jail we end up in. Uh, oh, it's just like, no. Rad, <laughs> are you are you fully raging? Fully raging. You want to roll me a uh, d20 so, and a d100? So that's a 95 and a 4. <laughs> wow. What, range? Big spread. Okay. Range. Uh, yeah. Let's see... Uh, Let's see how Power this works. Oh said, my gosh, I've been wanting to roll this one. Yeah. Aganor just explodes. Okay. <laughs> um, also, <laughs> I, I have a couple of questions. Yeah. About some of the items that Rad has. Uh, yeah. We never actually went over that. The cloak and the backpack and the staff. Yeah, you haven't looked at them at all. Um, I mean, I, I imagined that we, we took a rest after he found those things. Uh-huh. He, he would have, like, taken a minute to, like, and, look at them. And yet you didn't. Damn um, it. <laughs> <laughs> when um, have we ever done anything to help us? Rad, ever? I need you to make a wisdom saving throw against oh. your own spell save DC. Oh, no. Nice. Um, Potted plants, maybe. Which is 14. Come on. No whammy, no whammy. That is a 14. Yes. Hi, Ghost. Uh, oh, you, uh, you just barely uh, 
uh, beat it. You feel yourself like this magic is just like pulsing through you for a moment. Uh, and you just, okay, you're good. Um, nothing else happens. Damn it. Okay. Except that, uh, magic infuses one weapon of my choice that I'm holding until my rage ends, the weapon's nice. damage type changes to force, and it gains the light and throne properties uh, with a uh, 2060 range. And then if I throw it, it re reappears in my hand. Awesome. I just like to imagine that Rad's hands um, just sort of like crack and distort and twist, and then just sort of disconnect from his wrists and are just sort of floating in front of him. Um, <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, and I, this is the first time you've fully like given into the rage, correct? Yeah. I, uh, Roddy, you are standing right next to him. Make me a perception check. Okay. Music is very good, by the way. Twenty-two. That uh, 20 that again, a, that baby! That that's 20. Uh, you see, uh, as Rad, like, rages, you see this magic sort of courses around his body. He takes a step forward. You see that his eyes have turned this bright blue color, and the fur on his face around his eyes has gone red. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, try to grab my stuff back roll away. I don't want to get caught in whatever blast Rad's about to put out. Okay. Uh, and, and So, do I get to attack before we officially start? <laughs> I will say that your your like triggering off your rage is going to be like the surprise round. Uh okay. for you. Um so are they scared? Uh you see I, uh, Captain Pharaoh, I uh, immediately shout something out to the guards who begin moving back quickly. Uh, and he looks down, he looks down at his blade, um, and says, I uh, looks down at the blade. You see the, the runes begin glowing along the edge of it. You see a little bit of blood leaks out from his hand. Uh, and he says, Redeemer, strike down the foul. Um, and you see the blade bursts into flames. Um, that is his action. Thrax, that brings us to you. You are underwater. What would you like to do? You hear a roar from Rad up top. So, did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe we should leave. Maybe yeah. We should probably head out. Uh, well, I, I mean, we don't need to rush. Right? I mean, well, like we're 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 not just looking out for ourselves anymore. As I pat the top of the egg, I'm carried. Okay, that's too good. I have to go. Yeah, he <laughs> gently puts the egg down and probably makes an attempt to swim back to the surface. Okay. Uh, Shelly, Shelly will hold on to the eggs for you guys, okay. um, because, uh, their one leg is still hurting a lot and she doesn't yeah. want to swim back up uh, through the water. She's worried what'll happen if she goes back into combat. Yeah. <laughs> um, Thrax, are you jumping back into the water, swimming up? Yes, Hunter. Make me an athletics <laughs> check. <laughs> You are the one that made the choice <laughs> to say oh. your character could not swim. I mean, when I would they, they... No, it made perfect sense. And he's learned so much in such a short period yeah. of time. Uh, you immediately begin swimming up uh, towards the surface. You break the water. You can see um, the guards are converging on where uh, Rad is. Uh, you also see that there is this, like crackling, uh, like, all of his fur is just sort of standing out on end right now. Um, the dog rad is also just sort of, like, posed to attack, uh, and, uh, Roddy is there as well. Um, yep. 
The first knight uh, is going to run up into combat with Rad. Uh, that is an 11 to hit. That'll miss. Uh, second one. An 8 to hit. That'll miss. Third one. Uh, 13 to hit, I believe, also misses, correct? Uh, misses. Okay. Uh, Nori, you're up. You are You are already at the surface of the water. What do you want to do? I guess we're fighting. <laughs> so, uh, Captain Agnor is uh, right in front of me, I guess, right? If you want to get out of the water, yeah. He's on the, the on the edge of the water right now. Hmm. That seems like he might have this handled. Um, so, if I... The other guards are coming towards us, right? They are charging Rad. They're charging Rad. Okay, never mind then. So I will... <laughs> Rad's got this. It's Is there it's any fine. way to pull one of them into the water with their very, <laughs> very heavy armor? Uh, Whip your tail out. Do you, uh, you have a bow and arrow, right? I do, yeah. I will say you have two attacks, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I will. I will let you use one of your attacks to make a survival check to tie a rope to one of your arrows, uh, and then fire it at one of the guys with your second attack uh, to try and pull them into the water. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. I love that the blind person has a bow and arrow. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic! Yeah, yeah. I just carries <laughs> yeah. that around. Yeah. All right, let's do. Um, do you want to before you do anything else? Mm-hmm. Use one of your hit die to make sure that your <laughs> senses are heightened for this. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> we'll get that hit die going. You get your um, uh, you get your predator heat vision uh, okay. to to see the guys on the uh, the shore there. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah. So let's fire an arrow. See if I hit him. 15? Uh, Fifteen uh, will not hit. These guys are heavily oh, armored. I know. Um. Uh. Make a make a survival check though, because uh, your survival your first though, attack yeah. was to was to tie the rope. Um, yeah. So make a survival check to see if you tied the rope well uh, before right you fired hand, you before know? you fired this arrow. Thirteen. Uh, Thirteen. Yeah, you tied the rope okay, uh, but the rope was the rope was heavier on the arrow than you expected, yeah. and so it just sort of hits the water. Uh, it didn't quite make it to this guy. Just reeling um, it back now. That brings us to the next knight. Uh, Use your next turn to pull it in. He is going (laughs) to charge Rad. That's a nine. That'll miss. Billy. Um, uh, Clarifications on my illusionary ability. If I were to um, use it to, like, make, like, use it for invisibility for, like, Shelly, potentially myself, would I be able, like, and then I leave Shelly there. Would it? Would she stay invisible as an extra precautionary? Uh, Shelly currently is staying down in the cave underwater. Yeah. Okay. So what you're saying is I don't have to worry about her because we're just gonna die. It's great. Okay. I, what I, what I'm saying is I'm not worrying about Shelly. Okay. So you uh, are welcome to spend a hit die to make them invisible underwater in a cave that they can't see. I um, feel if you like, would like they're to. not going to know that there's a cave down there yeah. unless we tell them. So maybe just don't tell them, but it'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah. Thrax, as soon as he gets to the surface, is like, oh, no, they're going for the cave. <laughs> oh, yeah. How far is the... Almost. How far, like... <laughs> Is it going to take me at least like two turns to get out of the water? You're going to make an athletics check. If you roll well, you are up at the top of the water at the end of this round. Okay. So I'm going to make myself invisible. Um, and then uh, athletics to get out of the water. Okay. Uh, and are you uh, hit die invisible? probably need to yeah spend a hit die um you get up to the surface although nobody would know that because you are invisible um (laughs) next knight is going to run up uh that is a 10 to hit that'll miss (laughs) uh rad your turn (laughs) okay Rad's just, just going Rad to, to explode, you know? spin around in a circle and hit all these guys that ran nice. up to him. Um, no, he's he's definitely going to attack a whole bunch. 
Go for um, it. Which which one looks the most scared? Uh, make an insight check. Oh god. Doesn't count for any of my actions or anything, does it? Uh, no. I'll I'll give you that. A nope. nat a nope. nat oh, one. No. Uh, uh, you are, uh, you look around and you're really worried that you look the most scared. <laughs> um, okay. Um, well, Rad is just going to start hitting one of them. Go for it. Um, and just like yelling, Fascism is how the weak hide. From their fears. <laughs> I don't know. You what think you there? think the fascism is your ally, <laughs> but I was born in it. Uh, a ten will miss. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm doing as bad as they are. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, uh, end of your turn. Uh, uh, well, we've we've determined that he can, since he's just using claws, he can bonus action attack with his unarmed. <clears throat> uh, yes. Uh, yeah. To do an offhand strike, yeah. yeah. A nat twenty. There you go. <laughs> uh, go ahead and go oh, ahead and yeah. roll another d twenty for me. Yeah. See if you do anything cool. Better Come on. Come on. Do it. Come do on. It. A four. Oh. Nothing. So uh, just max damage for your uh, your rage. Uh, okay. Um. So that is be, a d eight uh, plus two. Four, Fourteen. Uh, Plus four, uh, yeah, okay. 14 on this one. Oh, not minus 104. 14. It was minus 104. Uh, yeah, red, red, 104 yeah. sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, end of your turn, Red? <laughs> yeah. Roddy, you're up. Awesome. Um, so I ducked away and I just want to throw shots at the people around Rad. Okay. Like, shot, like, shot, like, shot, like shot, vodka shot, or shots. bourbon or um, bone arrow. Mm. Not, not as fireball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seventeen will miss. Oh no. These guys are heavily armored. Yeah. Um, um, then as a bonus action, I would like to give Brad advantage on his next hit using my rogue thing. Awesome. My mastermind ability. Okay. I, uh, you, uh, um, you yell out like, Rad, the, the one next to you has uneven footing next to the water. Um, <laughs> uh, that brings us to another one of these knights. Uh, they are going to take a swing on Rad. Wow. That is a nine. That'll miss. Uh, that brings us to Captain Aganor. Um, Captain Aganor is going to uh, take a step up um, to Rad. I... Uh, Rad, uh, he is going to take his swing. That is a 25 to hit. That's 17 points of damage. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. All right. Um, and that is, uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't get advantage with con saves while raging, do I? No. It's just strength. Uh, 20. You're fine. Okay. Uh, so you do not take the extra radiant damage. Eight points of damage? Uh, yes. Uh, that is slashing. Um, for his second attack, swings again. Oh my god! 26, that'll hit. Jeez! Oh. I need you to make another constitution save. God damn. 22. Uh, 16 points of damage, uh, halved to eight. Uh, that is the end of his turn. Uh, that brings us to one of the guards. They're going to run over to Roddy. Uh, 16 to hit Roddy. 
Um, 16 is my armor class so that does hit. That'll hit seven points of damage to you. Bye. Um, another one of them will also run over to you, Roddy. Half your hit points. Uh, 14, but he, uh, misses. Uh, it's a miss. Thrax, you are up. Oh, thank God it was only two. Okay. Most of them have swarmed Rad. Um, it sounds, yeah. So give me the, give me the lay of land. Cause he, he, did he step out of the water? Like where, where is everybody in relation to me having just climbed so out? So you are, of... you are like on the edge of the water. So you can get out of the water if you want to. Um, okay. The, I, uh, every, every spot around Rad is filled with one of these guards. Um, and then two of them are on Roddy. Um, and you see Nori in the water uh, with a bow and arrow uh, silently cursing to themselves. Uh, and there's a big rope laying in the water for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Is anyone close enough to, like, the deeper portion <laughs> of the pond? Uh, no. Nobody is in the water other than you guys. Other than us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I want... What do I want to do? If you well, want, wanna... if you want to try and grab one of them and drag them into the water, you could. <laughs> um, but that would be like a grapple and then dragging them. What if I just shove one of them? Uh, if you just shove one of them, you could probably shove them into the like shallow uh, area of the water. I pull them into the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I want to do. Like they're heavily armored. Uh, and I can breathe underwater. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's I, so great. I want to find a way to like grapple and or shove one of them so that like I'm moving them towards the deeper part of the pond. Okay. The first thing I want to do is I want to tell Nori, Nori, I think I'm a dad. <laughs> and then I'm going to attack. Okay. I uh, so proud of you. Go ahead and uh, are you are you trying to attack them or are you trying to grapple them, push them into the water? Yeah, the latter for sure. Okay, so make me a athletics check. This is going to be a uh, opposed athletics. Can I bonus action rage first? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, so bonus action rage. Panic, excuse me. Panic. You can rage. I yes have have been able to do that for <laughs> several levels now. Um, and then I will I will make this check. Um, okay. Here we go. Please. Rad angst, Thrax, panic. I, I thought <laughs> no, I didn't know panic was a rage. I thought panic was a different. I thought it was like a custom little. Okay. That uh, is what you were supposed to think. Uh, Thrax, you, uh, you run up all, like, just this <laughs> manic, like, terrifying run, uh, in the water. Just, like, grab one of these guys. He screams as you just drag him into the water. Uh, that is, uh, that is your turn. You get him, like, halfway back towards the deep end of the water as he's just, like, on his back screaming as you're dragging him back that way. Um, that brings us to... Uh, one of these knights who is on rad is going to make a swing. That does uh, hit. 17, eight points of damage, halved to four. Uh, next one is the, uh, the one that Thrax is on. Um, I'm going to make a roll to see if he dropped his sword when you grabbed him. No, he held on to it. Uh, so, uh, he is going to, um, try and attack you, Thrax. Um. Naturally. Uh, he does have disadvantage because he's prone. Um, 16 to hit, Thrax? That will miss. Okay. Uh, so he just wildly swings backwards towards you uh, and misses. Uh, brings us to another guard who is on uh, Rad. That is an 8. Nori, you're up. Okay. I'm going to help Thrax and attack the one he's trying to drag into the water. Okay, absolutely. Go ahead. He is prone. Right, you have you this. have advantage on any melee attack rolls you make against him. Wow, really? Uh, like I needed it. Seventeen. Oh, seventeen. <laughs> not gonna hit. Seventeen will miss. <laughs> yeah. Let's real, real cocky before that miss, huh? Advantage. Twenty-five will hit. There it eight is. points. Eight nice. points of damage. <laughs> um, okay. Vitals. 
eight points. Okay. You knock him unconscious, and then I just casually slide him into the water. <laughs> He'll be fine. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, end of your turn, Nori? Uh, yes. Okay. That brings us to another knight is going to swing on Rad. Eleven will miss. Billy, you're up. Uh, I'm just going to go, uh, I guess to like, so I'm not like floating in the water, just to like the edge of the water. Okay. Um, so you're like standing in the shallows. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so the, there's a horrifying vision of Thrax, uh, and Nori drowning a guard <laughs> to one yes. side. Um, Nori, Nori just stabbed a man who is screaming and begging for his life. Uh, as a uh, terrifying, dripping wet hyena man is dragging him <laughs> into the deep of the water. Maybe we should uh, just go after uh, Agnor instead. Wait, <laughs> so where's Agnor? Now. Agnor is in melee with Rad. Okay. Um, do First off, do I get any sense <laughs> from uh, anybody here having any ability? Uh, in addition to everybody that you already know, I... Yeah. Uh, Aganor does have this black aura around him. Ooh. He okay. definitely went too far into those caves, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... How far like, away is he? Yeah. Uh, he is, from you, you are on the edge of the water, so, like, 20 feet. Do it. <laughs> All right. Do it. I'm gonna. What? May attack and then. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna go up to him, uh, hit him with a dagger. Okay. Hold on. Can we? You liquefied a guy's brain. Yeah. <laughs> well, I also want to bite him. Well, that, just, that way she you know can what? slurp up the that. brains that she's going to yeah. liquefy. And I get two attacks per action. <laughs> and then Waffles gets to go, because I'm up in the water. I'm, I'm up top. <laughs> Waffles is going to crit you, this. To you, make, you make eye contact with Waffles, who is, like, skulking through the <laughs> tall grass. <laughs> Waff oh, wait, Waffles wait, wait. eagles need no more. You, see, yeah. you make eye contact with Waffles from across the clearing and just go, clever girl. Oh, wait, yeah. No, I'm gonna... <laughs> so I'm gonna throw an axe. Uh, where, where is... Where do I... What happened? Oh, here it is. Who are you attacking? Ag Thor Christie. Okay. <laughs> uh, none of that is correct so you throw it that's why you rolled so garbage is that you throw it at somebody who's not there um, okay. uh, do you have a second attack uh, yeah I'm uh, in my frustration of not hitting him I'm just gonna I guess uh, I mean he's not that much taller than me so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the jugular I'm okay behind okay so you run up invisible. you run up into melee with him well, you were invisible. You made an attack roll. Oh wait! So wait! Oh wait! That attacking would negate Invis my invisibility once you attack or cast a spell. You are no longer invisible. Oh, because then I would not have. I would have just bit him then, and not. You would have attack. just bit him. Yeah, I would have just went to bite him instead. Uh, okay. I didn't realize. Then instead of throwing a hand axe, you tried to bite him and missed that instead. And then I bite him again. Okay. Yeah. Well, I. Right. Uh, like the little it? gremlin Billy is. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Nineteen. Uh, nineteen hits him. Sweet. Nine so points of damage. Nine points of damage. Um, and I can't discern what type of magic. Does it? Is it uh, a magic that feel, feels familiar? Who have you? Who have you drained from before? Um. Thrax, me, um, uh, Rad, Roddy. Have I ever bitten you? Um, I think when we had our, for, when we when we imploded. Yeah. When we had and the then, whole party brawl. 
So you've, I think everyone, so you've I bit think, everybody? Yeah, I feel like at, at, at this point, besides <laughs> um, the uh, funny surfer dude, I did not bite uh, him. I did not get the chance. You uh, make me make me an arcana check. <laughs> See if you can just. And then this. I guess I know the colors. His name was Corey. Corey. Courier? Courier. Courier. Well, it was Mr. Courier. His his name is Corey. Corey is Courier. Corey Courier? Mm-hmm. Well, his last uh, name is Tamman. Yes. Shame on you. I, I, 11. It tastes closest to Nori. But, like, Bad. Nori, if it was spicy. <laughs> it's a spicy right. boy. A and spicy tuna roll. What's the D? It's a D. What? It is a D ten. Okay. Um. Okay. That. And then I hit him for nine, so I have nine points. Okay. Uh, that brings us to that one of the guards. Uh, is going to swing. Miss me on again, Brad. That is a Damn nat it. twenty. Damn it. Oh wait, no waffles goes. Oh, Waffles does go. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh. Let Waffles rain. Um, how many people are on Brad? Uh, there are... Three? I guess, does, does Rad look overwhelmed? A lot. Does Rad look like he needs a, there a are, flying there hand? There are okay. s- uh, seven of them total on Rad. Oh, wow. And, and okay. one of them is Captain Agnor. One of them is okay. Captain Agnor. Uh, mm-hmm. Two of them are on Roddy. One of them is being dragged into the water. Um, okay, so that is a... Uh, 19. D8. Uh, plus three. Uh, so 14 points of damage to you, Rad. Um, and a 19. Uh, you're attacking one of the guards? Yeah. Uh, misses. What? Um, Rad, you're up. A 19 misses? 19 misses the guards. Armor's rough. Shit. They're heavily armored. Good, good lord. <clears throat> shit. Oh my god. My slip and slide idea doesn't look so bad now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to be fair, I had that idea first, Gabe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just crack open the earth. I was taking and then... orders. You know, Fair. slip and slides. Slip and slides are great, but you know what I always loved at summer camp were those big blob things, the big mm. air cushions yeah. that somebody would jump. I'm gonna try and pick up one of these guards and the deep end of the water. Just chuck him. Oh, Absolutely, just chuck him. Just fucking suplex. Uh, yeah. I I'm gonna say that's definitely your action. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a contested athletics check to pick him, like to grapple him. Followed by an athletics check to throw him. Then I burn the hit die. To do what? To just to be, you know, way. Oh, okay. I have floaty. I have floaty hands right now. You do. Um, and for the most part, they're just staying close to my regular arms. Can I burn a hit die so that all I have to do is grapple one of these guys? And then the hands just float to the water and stick them in the deep end. I'm going to say that the the hands are like, they're detached. They do have a but range. They're, they're, you can make ranged attacks, but they're not like, it's not like a mage hand that you can I know, but I'm saying them. that I'm going to burn a die yes, I out will, of my hit points. I will, I will say, sure. Um, but... You're rolling a d20 and a d100 when you do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so make a contested okay. athletics check against uh, one of the, just one of the guards. Here, I'm gonna roll my rage thing first, uh, and then I'll uh, let's see. That's a 45 and a two. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have rolled my rage thing first. Uh, and then contested athletics. I am quite good and have advantage, so you know. Here's hoping. Ooh, twenty-three is not bad. Nice. Oh no. No. 
Um, oh. Roddy, how yes. far are you standing from Rat? Um, well, I I did like I I backed up at the first, so, so I'm so ge- how, I'm guessing how far. Uh, I was gonna guess like probably thirty feet. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna you want to be thirty feet away? Uh, the way he phrases things. <laughs> um. Yes. Okay. Um. I. Uh, Rad. Yes. I. Uh, so Should a, I have been further? Should I have been closer? A wall of force bursts out from you uh, with a radius of 15 feet. Um, uh, Any creature in uh, any of the spaces that the wall inhabits uh, would take damage. Nobody is within uh, the actual walls as they spring into life. Um, But there are these walls of force that now encircle you, which means all of the guards, you, and Billy (laughs) are inside this wall of force that encircles you. No! Wait. <laughs> so we can't get to him? Uh, Wait. He just there is, himself in with the bad there guys? Is a, there is a wall of force that goes around that grouping of people. The walls of um, force don't start from him and like push everybody nope. off of him? The, it is, a, oh, it is no. a circle that grows with him at the center. Does it move right. with him? Um, the water. It's a, it's a great question. <laughs> If it um, grows with me at the center, then it should push everybody away from me to the outside. Nope. <laughs> okay. It appears uh, around you. It is, you stand at the center of a circular wall of force uh, that springs into existence. Uh, okay. So every, uh, you, all the guards, Captain Agenor, uh, uh, and Billy and Waffles are inside the, the ring of force. Everybody else is outside of it. This oh, is God. what I call the blender. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Billy, okay, Billy, and Waffles stands. are still in there. Oh, absolutely, it does. Um, uh, I did got you twenty three? Twenty three. Uh, athletics. Check. You you absolutely pick him up um, and throw him um, towards the water. Um, yes. <laughs> Could he be in the space of the wall of force as it goes up? I mean, he's gonna pass through <laughs> it either way, so he has to. <laughs> Uh, he had to make a dexterity saving throw at disadvantage um, because he was in the air. Um, or take damage. He was going to take. Uh, that cool. is. Holy crap. 23, 23 points of damage. Uh, did you throw the same one that you had hit before or a different one? No, it's the same one. Okay, he. Uh, the rest of you see a dead guard hit the water. Nice. These guards are a little squishy. I think we should let the one we're attacking go, Gabe. But you know, uh, we oh, they're, they're a character. <laughs> Roddy, I just want you to remember this was your yeah. idea. So <laughs> did you say that there were the two still on me, or did they mm-hmm. get trapped in the force field? No, because you are thirty feet away, so they are not in the force field. Man, I should have said 16 feet away. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. I, 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 I saw your face as you started <laughs> saying 15. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to... Also rage. <laughs> um, bonus action disengage. It's all rage. Okay. Bonus action disengage. Get away from the guards that are within the melee. Okay. Run my uh, 30 feet. Uh-huh. And shoot one of them with an arrow. Go for it. Um, yeah. I feel confident in that. 18 will miss. Fuck, oh, bro. Uh, that brings us to one of the knights. They swing on Rad. 18 to hit, Rad? Uh, that'll hit. Four points of damage, half to two. Uh, that brings Dude. us to Captain Agenor. It's a flesh uh, He makes his attack on you. 
Uh, oh my God. 24 will hit. Uh, 20 points of damage, half to 10, and then I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Even with my feet, he would destroy me. <laughs> You're fine. You're not taking that extra radiant damage. Uh, second attack from Captain Agonor. Uh, <laughs> 21 hits. 10 more points of damage to you, Rad. Make another con save. I don't think we ever beat this guy. Isn't no. he the one we lost to in practice? Yeah. He, at one point, like, l like, gave in, but clearly could have kept going. Yeah. Um, con save of 13 is not enough. Uh, oh, no. You take an additional uh, eight points of radiant damage. Will? Will? Rad, looking real rough. Uh, that brings us to uh, one of the guards who is outside the ring, who's going to run back into melee with Roddy. Uh, nine to hit. That will miss. Uh, the other one who is outside the circle is going to run into melee with Roddy. And a 14 to hit, Roddy? Nope, misses. Misses, he's Not done. Fucking uh, <laughs> you're just like <laughs> matrixing under their swords. Uh, Thrax, you're up. Okay. Uh, how many guards are in the wall of force with Billy and Rad? Uh, there is uh, one, six one, that six is, left, one that yeah. is dead... Uh, is out with you. One that you took out into the water. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, including oh. Captain Agonor. Uh, and then the five other two Five, including Captain Agonor. Yep. Hey, two on Roddy, one dead, one at my feet. Mm -hmm. Four plus Agonor inside the wall of force with Billy and Red. Uh... Including Captain Agonor, there are, uh, six... No, six, five inside the wall of force. So four, okay. four of them right. and Captain Agnor are inside. Right. Okay. Um, real quick, Hunter. Yeah. What's Rad doing? Uh, Rad is uh, uh, in the in the bush currently. Um, he has not been commanded to attack and is just sort of barking wildly. Yeah. It's great when you have a pet familiar and you don't do anything with them. Yep. Yeah. Somebody call the snake so many lady times. to help us. <laughs> uh, we have her children. We're trying to save them. Thrax, you are up. Yes. So I would like to lean in very close and say, just hold your breath. It's going to be over really soon and slide this dude into the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Aren't we the baddies? Um, <laughs> this was Emily's idea. No, these are Nor terribly prejudiced Thrax, monsters. Thrax, make me an intimidation <laughs> check. Uh, okay. If you roll really well, I will give you advantage on the attack roll to push him into the water uh, as he is just horrified. Oh my god. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, you accidentally say it in Dwarvish, um, and he, <laughs> he just didn't understand it. Um, like but you, uh, go ahead and make your attack roll to push him into the water. Just a athletics check, I guess. Do I, I don't make it cause my, my, uh, my rage bonus is based on dex, right? So I make a flat roll for this. You would make it a, a flat roll. Yes. Okay. Uh, cause we, uh, had, we reworked barbarian a little bit for you to, to make it right. work better with, uh, with monk. Right. Uh, here we go. Uh, okay. Ooh. So you... You go to pull him. He's just like, he's still in that shallow area of water. He's wearing that heavy armor. And he's just like, anything in his power to hold on to where he's at. Okay, how about this? Can I... Can I just say that I tighten my grip, I use my movement, and I dive into the water with him? <laughs> Wouldn't they just sink with all that armor, though? <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. Once he's he in the once he's in the, the deep end, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a, a rough athletics check to try and not drown. Yeah, um, oh man, uh, yeah, Thrax. I'll oh, say shit. you uh, you just oh, keep shit. dragging and like just like get to the edge and then just like wrap around him and fall backwards into the water. Oh my goodness! Um, 
horrifying. If I have to burn a key point for it, I will. <laughs> I, I don't mind if I have to roll like whatever I got to do. You let yeah, me know. Yeah, uh, burn burn a key point for like step of the wind to give you that extra movement to just like huck him into the water with you. Uh, I like that baby okay. in. Okay. Um, that is just like that fish from when you were 14. That is his turn. Um, he is going to try and nope. Uh, he tried, he tried to survive. Didn't work. Um, he is, he is in the water looking horrified as he, like, you, you can see his life flashing before his eyes. Um, one of the other guards is going to swing on Rad. Uh, 16 to hit Rad. Yes. That is nine points halved to four. Uh, Nori, you're up. Okay. Um, so Strax has gone in the water. Uh, so are there still guards outside of the Wall of Force? Uh, there are two guards outside of the Wall of Force that are, uh, on Roddy. On Roddy. Okay, so I'll go help Roddy. Oh, I got these guys. Please help Rad. (laughs) I, but I can't, can I go through the Wall of Force? You could try. Maybe it's just like an anti-projectile thing. Okay, let so, oh, no, I'm sorry. Real important question. Uh, Nori, make a perception check to see if you know yeah. the wall of force is there. I know. I'm like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about there's this. There's not really a whole lot there to... It doesn't, like, kick off magic or anything? I, I mean, does the wall it, have it, an aura? It doesn't have an aura, but it, like, it does have magic, but it's not a... Like, you have advantage on it because you have the heightened senses. Oh, thank God. It's like I'm a very like, mean Hunter, why would you do door. this to me? Okay, okay. A 12. Well, the, well. You know something is, like, you... I'll say this. You can't mm-hmm. see the wall of force. Mm-hmm. You do see... You have no, like, vision of... Mm-hmm. Anybody who is in that in in that got inner it, area, got it. So but you did you gone. did see a body fly out of there and land okay. in the water <clears throat> and not move anymore. Wow! I, this I, is I will a, this I will is say that there is there is like just a a black spot a in black spot. Okay. in your in your already like blind vision. There is a an area that you know for certain you can't sense. Okay. Rad doesn't want help. Now, wait. When did that happen? No, Roddy doesn't want help. Oh, sorry. Roddy. <laughs> sorry. Roddy doesn't want help. They both start with R. Um, Roddy, Roddy, is, Roddy is currently taking out some help. aggression on these two guards. <laughs> oh, these two guards. Um, hey, they lost 10 years of their life, man. Oh, like, my God. I can't even lot. metagame this because I do not remember this spell at all. Um, I don't... If there's a, I'm just gonna. Oh god, this is gonna. I'm gonna take a lot of hit points and damage for this. I'm gonna go through the black spot. You go through it, okay? Yeah. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> dex, 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 dex. I'm right on it too. Oh come on. That do is you a fail. Point of inspiration. Uh, you do, you do not. You are currently the only one without oh, a point of inspiration. No. <laughs> the um, chat has failed me. I uh, nah. okay. you said something else. Six, eight. Oh God. Ten. Fourteen. Don't murder me. Twenty-one points of force damage as you move through this wall. Oh no. Um, and I. And the, the chat just got you a point of inspiration. <laughs> Too late. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you, Sakura. We appreciate you. Um, <laughs> thank you, Sakura. It's okay. I only lost all the hit points I gained with this level up. It's fine. <laughs> you got you got How twenty one points. Hit points. Oh, because yeah. one you took he, you took the tough feet. Took tough feet. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, I got five. Boy, he needed I it. have 27 max. I'm level six. Waffles it's okay. It's okay. I can heal myself still... and attack. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Waffles still has more hit points than you. It is. <laughs> it is. What? It is shocking how Perfect. few hit points Roddy has. <laughs> um. Oh man. Okay. Uh, Nori, you push through the wall of force. You feel just this absolute crushing pressure as you walk through there. You take 21 points of damage. Uh, and then okay. as soon as you are on the other side, you can sense the people that are in there. 
Okay, so I can attack. Yes. Okay, perfect. So I will... I will attack. Um, I will use my fighting spirit to give me advantage. Because I can't remember why I had advantage last time. Um, but yeah, let's use that. And then it's going to heal me too, which is really nice. Okay, perfect. So let's attack them. Papal. Attack number one. A 26 will hit. Okay, nice. perfect. You're and then... swing, swinging on the first guard? Yes. Okay. Um, Fighting Spirit only gives me the advantage on the first attack. Okay. I think. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me read this feature. Fighting Spirit. Oh no, those under my spells. Oh, why did I do this? We're just going to say it, the, the, only the one. And then I've got another attack, so we'll just attack. 23 to hit. Okay. Uh, both of those hit, so 6 and 5 points of damage. It's 11 points of damage. Oh, wrong button. I will heal myself in a second. But you guys can keep going. Okay. Uh, that brings us to the one that you just hit, uh, who is going to swing on Rad again. Technically, I should get advantage on both of those hits in the future. Ah. Okay. Uh, you did, uh, you did hit both though, so you're good. Yeah, I'm good. Um, you're done. It'll miss. Uh, Billy, you're up. Um, and, uh, uh, Rad, the RA character, uh, is looking pretty bad. Uh, after that last. Yeah, looking, okay. looking rough. Um, I'm going, uh, to look at, Butcher, uh, not the dog, Rad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look at uh, the captain. And Both say, look rough, but different meetings. Yeah. Um, call off your men and stand down, or this is going to go very poorly for you. You say that to uh, to Captain Farrell. Yeah. Uh, make an intimidation check. Um, when I use my illusionary ability, is that an ability check, or is that just an illusion power? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, because what type of role is my illusion? Is it just a, a magic role? Yeah, How would you, it, would you classify it, it as an ability check? For what purpose? Uh, if I was going to like potentially uh, mess with people's brains. It'd be an action. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm going to use plus, I have a plus nine to this role then. Uh, oh, and I'm gonna use my inspiration. Okay. Because mm -hmm. that's just the nat one. Sad. The nat one is just sad. Uh, twenty-seven. Okay. Dang, it's very good. Wow. What are you rolling for? Right now, I'm just intimidating him to stand down and call off his men. Because okay. if he doesn't, I hope he remembers what happened in the last arena, in the last circular area we were in. I melted one guy's brain. I can melt yours, too. <laughs> I've been gone for a while. I can melt everyone's brain. Sure. Um, <laughs> Billy, he looks at you and he says... You all started this fight. I don't... I, I, I wasn't here for that. <laughs> Point of order. Um, but we can all walk away from this right now. He sort of adjusts his hand on the, on the blade uh, and says, You first, witch. Okay. Hey, okay. Is he asking me to walk away or to stand down? Yes. <laughs> Can we hear through the wall of force? Uh, you are underwater. <laughs> Maybe Can I, I hear him through the wall of force. <laughs> um, uh, you are 30 feet away. This is a, a conversation in the midst of battle. <laughs> sorry, Dave. I tried my best. Uh, it's all right. It's totally fine. <laughs> 
Um, That's the mother of my children, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's your call, Billy. Let me see. Uh, well, no, so I don't think... I'm trying to... Because I don't... Billy's not going to turn his back... Uh, turn their back on somebody who is... Um, Um, like they, uh, Billy's not gonna walk away. For, like he's not gonna turn their back and like walk away first, unless he knows that the weapons are down. Like, cause it's it's the, right now in this weird wall, we are definitely. Well, I guess Nori's here, so we're not. We're probably closer to even. Um, but uh, your call, Billy. Uh, all right. Um. Is this technically a stalemate the way that it is now? Yeah. I'm surprised that the, um, like, um, you have, uh, it's, I'm just, ugh, um, what? No, it's gonna be like, you have my word as, as, uh, a manager of the gnomes of, uh, the, uh, the Catechist Gardens that we will let you walk away, but I'm not standing down first. Okay, so you're not attacking, you're, but you're I'm not attacking, holding at the ready. Okay, but I'm like I'm holding I'm holding a big brain action uh, as, so, as soon as anybody does any type of attack, okay. I am bringing holy hellfire down. Uh, that brings us to knight number five, uh, who is going to swing on Rad. Uh, can I reaction? You use my. Hey, oh, wait, no, because I have to wait for his next turn. He can't just call out and tell his men to stop. Wait, what is this, Farah? what it means to hold. You it's, have to let them do dumb stuff. It's your uh, it's your choice. Do you want to release the, the thing at this guy who just attacked Rad? Release the Kraken. Um, I'm going to basically Sh- make him... As though, like the air that the wall of force that we're in has been uh, filled with sand, and that he can't move. I don't want to like okay. kill. I don't want to like hurt. Like I don't want to like go whole ham on him yet. How many? How many dice you spend? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. One of my dice and one of my hit points. Okay. Go for it. Uh, I don't know where any of my things are. Nope. Action. All right. That was my, my dice. Okay. And then this is my... Uh, so <laughs> 11. 11. Um, his swing slows, so I will give him disadvantage on it. Uh, so 11 will <laughs> miss. Okay. Uh, Rad, you're up. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to sh- shove Captain Agonor into the wall of force. Okay. Contested athletics check against Captain Agonor. Uh, or Captain Pharaoh. Oh. Right. No. Wait, wait. No. Aginor Pharaoh. But no, no, there's like a Pharaoh. Oh, I didn't the... even do it with advantage. Order. Uh, 26, you push him backwards into the into the thing. I'm, I'm, um, that is... Do it one more time, just... A deck save. Okay. Uh, he is. You push him through the through the barrier. Uh, he does succeed on his deck save, um, so he does not take damage. But he uh, is on the other side of the the wall of force. No damage at all. No damage on a successful save. Uh, fuck that guy. Rush. Um. End of your turn, Red. Um. You have bonus what? action if you want to I use don't it. don't really have a lot of bonus action things I can do. Um, 
<laughs> I hidden step. Okay, what does that do? I can't. I can't. It's a furbolg thing where I can be invisible for six seconds. I was so hoping ah. that you would teleport outside of the wall. That'd be incredible. It's not teleport. Uh, I'm just you invisible just, you just for six seconds. Just disappear for your I, turn. Okay, um, I huddle down and look like a bush, and everybody's like, "Yeah, incredible." Where did he go? Uh, Roddy, you're why up. is this bush here? Um, I'm gonna Hard shout out bush. to the to the snake lady. Mrs. Snake Lady, we have your children. Please come help us. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Don't. Why? What is wrong? Make a, communication. Make a persuasion we check, Roddy. We have your children. We're trying to save them. Can I add we're trying to save them? Make a persuasion yeah. check. <laughs> <laughs> I oh regret all goodness. my life choices. Well, I think we've chosen a side. Well, I mean, you're going to be a, a, a father, so. Yeah, I, I know. feel like we already chose a father, but. 13. Uh, 13, okay. Uh, you yell that. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to bonus action, disengage from the guy in melee with me, and run another 30 feet. And, okay. And. Um, Please stand down, and then can I hold an action to... Can I just, like, knock an arrow, but not do anything until they, like, take a step forward, and then if they come at me, then I shoot? Uh, yeah, you want to hold action. If they move forward, you take a shot? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, okay. I uh, you say that, um... Out of the woods... Uh, comes two yes. longbow shots um, at Captain Agnor. Uh, one misses, the other hits. Agnor takes 16 points of damage. Nice. Uh, and you see the snake lady emerging from the woods. Um, oh, yeah. One of the... Uh, <laughs> one of the knights who is still in the bubble is going to... Uh, <laughs> swing at where he thinks Rad is. He has disadvantage because you're invisible. That's stupid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nine, nine, point, uh, nine points will miss. Uh, Captain Agonor is going to... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Did he fail his, my intimidation check? Like, uh, Captain Agonor uh, spins around. Um, sees, uh, sees Roddy standing there, uh, with, uh, a bow drawn and he just got hit with an arrow, assumes Roddy took the shot, uh, and charges Roddy, takes two swings. Oh, God. Fuck, I'm gonna die right now. 25 to hit, 28 points of damage, make a con save. I'm down. I'm down. Oh, my God. I can't even, like, if I walk back through that wall of force... But no, if you get I, hit, it, if you get I need, double I need your, you to, I need you to make yeah. the Constitution save. Because you could die, die right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, attempting it. You're gonna make it. I believe that is a seven. You have, yeah. a, you have a point of inspiration if you want to use it. Oh, absolutely! You're, I wait. Wanna what, use oh, it. Is there another he, attack though? He can miss the other attack. Somebody get a point of inspiration lined because up for me, please. Because if he misses the second attack, there is no con save. 17, you succeed. Um, so uh, you take 28 points. Uh, you hit the ground. Um, oh, no. He is going to uh, uh, spin around with the blade, looking for any other targets. Um, oh, you have Dan inspiration, too. Yes, he does still have it. Oh, um, uh, that brings rewrite us this entire to, battle. Uh, let's see. I would like to make the very first persuasion check of this entire session. Uh, <laughs> I would like to reroll that. Uh, <laughs> one of the guards who was on, uh, who was on Roddy, uh, is going to pull, uh rope out of his bag and is going to spend his turn tying up Roddy's body uh, along with the other one. Thrax, you're up. Okay. My situation is that I am currently in the water with armored guard. Yes, he is thrashing around horrified uh, sinking. 
how, how what do I have to do to break free of him? Oh, you can I just jump. let go. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would let go and then attempt to swim back to the oh, surface. No. You uh, make an athletics check. I was really hoping. Does he have advantage? Because he's... 16. Uh, you just kick off of this guy um, <laughs> and push yourself to the surface and push him oh, deeper underwater. Uh, you are back You are back at the surface. What are you doing? Uh, okay. Uh, assuming that was... I'm just going to assume that's move and bonus action. Uh, is there anyone that is near by me? Uh, Captain Pharaoh and uh, two... Uh, 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 two guards are on uh, on the coast, uh, standing over Roddy's body. Okay. Um, Captain Pharaoh. Are they all heavily armored as well? Uh, they are. Okay. Do I have enough movement to reach them? <clears throat> you could either key point, step the wind, or take the dash action to get to them. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go key point and then try to rush in. Um, probably to grapple uh, the captain. Okay, go for it. Okay. Make an um, athletics check. Oh, that's uh, real high from him. Bullshit, let me see those dice. <laughs> Come on! You rolled a now one and you know it, Hunter. Good Stop playing. <laughs> uh... Okay, uh, that is, unfortunately, he is just too fast for you, um, and you are not quite able to uh, get that grapple on him. Um, that brings us to... I'll be fine, don't worry about it. Uh, one of the knights who is in the circle is going to swing on Rad. That's a 17 to hit, Rad. Was that with disadvantage? Uh, no, it was not with disadvantage. Uh, because Rad uh, is currently a yep, snowsberry nope, bush. Nope, nope, that's a miss. Uh, <laughs> Nori, you're up. Himself. That's a nat one. Right. That is a nat one. I'm re -roll. Give me a second. I have to roll another d20. Uh, he's fine. Um, <laughs> Nori, you're up. What are you doing? So I'm still in the wall of force. Correct. The wall of force is not dropped. Okay. Um, And there's still three guards in there? There's an immobile guard who's just kind of like slowly like swinging like through sand. Yeah, there's one guard moving very oh, slowly. Oh, Okay. Um, there are, let's see here, two, three, I believe. Three, let okay. Let me verify. Hunter, I'm about yeah, to break everything. three. You going to be ready? Say again. Okay, give him so, a sec. What'd you say? Not. Oh, he's about, he's to, about break to break the, the game. Screen. Oh, because he's it. got to bounce. Yep. Okay. Bye bye. Good luck, y'all. Yeah. Bye, Gabe. Um, bye so I would like to non-lethally attack. Uh, well, we'll see how bad they look. Um, but I'm gonna pick a guard, start attacking. Non-lethal. I just want to try to knock them out. Um, once they look like they're not doing so great. Um. So yeah, I will take my three attacks. Oh, did it already roll? I didn't mean. To. Okay, first attack is a twenty-two. Am I muted? Uh, uh no, I'm just every everything is broken. Yeah, yeah, everything is broken. Um, no, it's fine. Do you want me to I'll pop in and uh, yeah, if, a if, side camera? If one of you can uh, pop in, that'd be great. Um, I'll just roll my attacks in the meantime. 22, 11 doesn't hit. 14 also doesn't hit. That's fine. Uh, yeah, those both those both miss. Yeah, so um, the first one hit for seven damage. Seven points of damage. Uh, you kill that guard. Non-lethal. I said non-lethal. You uh, non-lethally kill that guard. <laughs> um, he, he is he is unconscious. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, it's like I called on Lisa before this round. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. learned that mistake the hard way. Uh, end of your turn, Nori. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Billy, you're up. Um. I apologize to everybody who is watching that everything is ruined. 
you know, I see the bottom half of my face. Oh yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's Shelly, rough. Shelly looks great. Yeah, yeah. Well, Shelly's fantastic. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the downside to uh, recording through Zoom. Um, um, so I guess I'm gonna. Uh, I would like to do what I did to that guard, um, but to Agathor, uh, um, the other two guards that are in with me, and uh, how many other are up outside? One other is up outside? There are two and uh, Captain Pharaoh uh, on the outside. Okay. Um, there are... Uh, two still standing on the inside. No, three still okay. standing on the inside. Okay, but one of them's already whammy, so I don't have to do yes. anything to him. Um, so I'm going to whammy everybody else. No um, do how I? Much, have... How much are you spending? Well, um, I'm going to use, uh, on top of my dice, a, a spicy dice, because if I think it's to enhance my thing to make it work with multiple people. That's not how that works. It's uh, body if it's, enhancement. If, if it's enhancement, it has one specific like effect that it does. So like yeah. Nori's is it enhances their senses. Uh, okay. So I don't know what his does. Correct. All right, well, how many did it take? Does anybody remember how how many it took to weigh me that guy's brain? That all those? I think you burnt was, like all of your a, hit dice. I think it, it was, was like, like I think something. you yeah I think you did like five of them, uh, and no, tar- yeah. and targeted all of them on one person. Like it was yeah. it was yeah. rough. So I'm gonna. Um, you rolled like a thirty-five on your illusion magic. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do. Two, um, plus, cause the D, it's a D ten. So you're just spending two? No, no, no. I'm trying to see how many hit points I'm gonna use. I mean, I guess. I mean, they're attacking my friends. Does Billy care if they live or not? It's your call. Uh, I'm going to use six health dice and uh, two illusionary dice. On who? My God. On the the all the enemies that are up. Okay, so you're trying to hit multiple targets at the same yeah. time with it. Go for oh it. Oh my goodness! All right. So first are my two. So this includes the one that's already like moving slowly. No, 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 not that one. That one's already like. Okay, so just two targets then. Yeah. There's only two other people up. In the circle, yeah. No, can I get Captain? You can't the see circle? them currently. <sighs> it's your call. Uh, I guess. The guards are pretty squishy. I wouldn't burn hit die on them. Yeah, I'm, I would run out then. I guess I'll run out first. Okay, you run out. Make a deck saving throw. <clears throat> and I die. Do better than me. Don't suck. Dex. That is an eight. You have a point of inspiration if you want to use it. You should. Definitely. Okay, you said I should. Okay. Dex. Because it's a lot of damage. That is some, <laughs> somehow worse. Um, Perfect. Here we go. Oh, Six, 10, 10? 17, 17, 18, uh, 25 points of force damage. Not bad. That's not uh, bad. You run That's through 20, 25 so points of damage, points. and you, uh, you now have line of sight to the two guards and uh, Captain Pharaoh. Who are oh, and I see Roddy's down. Correct. So I'm going to do two. So I'll do six dice total. So I'll do my two regular dice first. 
Come on. Two. So eight. It's eight. And then. And you said four from your regular? Or from yeah, your hit, four hit, hit points. points. So it's what? It's slash roll. And then 4d10. Is that how I write it? I'm not certain. I try yes. putting a space in between. Cool. Uh, you take 31 more points of damage. Still up. Okay. Holy shit. Oh my god. You uh, not right. by much, you're not. Yeah, that, was, that was, was almost say, real bad. Almost yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wrong way. Oh. <laughs> So now take 62 points of damage. Give yourself another 31. <laughs> Don't listen to what he says. Heal yourself. Um, okay. Uh, you release it. That is 39 points. Are you only targeting uh, Captain Pharaoh, or are you... Uh, it's, no, it's the, the three. It's all three Pharaoh, of them? and then, then the guys that are on... Um, Ooh, and I got thank you, Sakura. And then yeah, and then the people that are over, um, Roddy. Uh, you see the uh, the two people, uh, the two guards hit the ground. Uh, just immediately, like their heads just cave in a little bit, and they hit oh. the ground. Uh, Captain Pharaoh just sort of seems to tense for a second. And then just turns and looks at you, eyes completely black. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, that brings us to. And they said, we're the baddies. Uh, let's see. This one. Uh, is Waffles gone. is gonna uh, dive bomb him. Uh, that would require Waffles to go through the wall of force. No, is it, is it, he can go over the wall. No, no, uh, it's a it's, dome. It's a dome. Oh, wall. lame. All right, then he's gonna attack. One of whoever hit bad last time. Okay, go for it. Stupid dome. <laughs> it is. A Nor are you dome. stuck in it? So I'm like, oh god, I made a mistake. Uh, fourteen will miss. Uh, that brings us to one of the guards who is going to uh swing. Now, this is the one at that's the in the sand. Yep. Uh, he already has disadvantage, and uh, you are uh invisible. Um, so he swings and, uh, 15 to hit. It does hit. That does hit. Yeah. So, uh, oh, no. eight points of damage have to four. Uh, which is Rad... exactly what I have left. Oh, you have four. Okay. Oh, you hit. No. Okay, you wait, hit... The, the wall of force drops. You hit the ground. Right. Uh, the wall of force is still up. Oh, fuck. Are you um, Oh my fucking God. Roddy. It is, it is not a concentration spell that he is maintaining. It is an effect of his rage. Uh, Roddy, you're up. Death saving throw. Okay. That's a 19. Holy That's a pass. Shit. Why could it be another 20? <laughs> uh, out of out of the woods, uh, two longbow shots. Oh, nat 20. Uh, yes. One of them's a nat yes. 20. Let's roll. Nice. Seven, no additional effect. Uh, 20 and 14 points of damage. That's 34 points on Captain Pharaoh. Yes. Take his fucking ass. He does go please. down like a log. Uh, um, I'm, it's been an honor playing with all of you guys. I just oh, my say. goodness. Oh, man. I... In oh, this is this is gonna feel bad. Um, is are the other guards like incapacitated though? Uh, the two that you knocked out. When I yeah, when I attacked the captain, did it also Third knock dead. out the other people? The Third the dead. two that were by the captain are on the ground. Their heads were caved in. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, like did you <laughs> did you miss that description? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Selective memory. One of one of the guards that is in the wall of force still okay. swings on oh, Rad's <laughs> body. Oh God! Rad, you oh, fail God. two death saves. Holy oh. shit! Okay, I'm still in there. I'm still in there. Uh, <laughs> I'm still in there. Captain Agenor uh, looks around to see if he can, or Captain Pharaoh, sorry, looks around to see if he can see where the arrows came from. He can't. He's gonna charge Billy. 
I would like to t- make an aside right now that Shelly is telling the eggs uh, bedtime stories. <laughs> Just put that nice little lovely image in everyone's uh, head. That is a nat and... one on the first one. Oh, thank God. Uh, what? But no additional effect. Uh, second one is an 18 to hit. Is that hit, Billy? Oh, of course it is. (laughs) Uh, I is squishy. 27 points. uh, And if that doesn't knock you out, I need a con save. Oh, wait, 100% knocks me out. Okay. Uh, That brings us to Thrax. Uh, Thrax is um, by Captain Agnor. Um, He is going to try and bite. Uh, That is in that one. Oh my goodness! Uh, but nothing additional. Uh, and then he makes uh, two attacks with his claws. Oh, okay. uh, that is seven points of damage on Captain Agnor. Um. Okay, that brings us to. Oh boy. Um. Dun dun dun. Uh, one of the other. Knights that is in there with Rad, uh, he's gonna swing. Oh my God! Can I, like when is my when is it my turn? <laughs> you go next. Oh, Jesus. Six seconds. Ten would miss, but fifteen hits. Rad, fifteen that's, does hit. That's a fail. Uh, yep. Uh, that's three fails. That's uh, three. That is Rad three. I uh, oh. the the wall goes down. Uh, oh my God. Nori, you're up. All right, I'm going to go for one of the guards. As the wall falls, you can suddenly sense uh, Billy and Thrax and uh, Captain Pharaoh. Okay. Do I want advantage on these hits? There are... uh, Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to take advantage on it. There are two guards and uh, Captain Pharaoh left. Yeah, I'm going to use Fighting Spirit again and then take the advantage. Go for it. Um, so I'm going to go after the guards first. <clears throat> oh, shoot. And I didn't even hit advantage, but it's a 23. So, 23 I mean, hits. let's see if it's a natural 20, I guess. <laughs> One more time. Yeah, why not? Uh, okay. 10 points of damage is enough to take out that guard. Okay, perfect. Then I'll go for the second one with my second hit. 21 and a hit, 12 damage. Okay. Uh, is he still up? Twelve points. Uh, that one is still up. Still up. Um, I'm going to action search and take another hit then. Go for it. At advantage. Eighteen. Eighteen misses. Damn it. Uh, Billy. Oh, when you action search, you should get both of your attacks. That's true. You have your second oh, attack. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh my god, thank yeah, you go so for it. much. Nice. At advantage. <laughs> Still oh, misses. Uh, oh. Billy, you're up. Make Curse. it that safe. <sighs> Hello, darkness, my friend. I didn't that's even a, get to save. make a save. I know. I'm, I am very sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Roddy. You're up. Okay. Make a death save. <laughs> oh goodness. I will say on my non-turn, mm. can can Rad <gasps> finally yeah. like come out of the bushes? Sure. And dog, resuscitate yeah. you? Do can, can, anything? <laughs> you want you want him Rad to just start attacking the the guard? Yeah. 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 Sure. I'll say. I'll. Uh. Uh. Elliot, make me a um just a, a flat d20. Uh, he has a plus two on his attack roll. Oh my god. Imagine the dog dies too. He misses. Um What you doing, Roddy? Oh you uh, roll you rolled your I, death save. I got He's, another success. You yeah. succeeded. Uh two more arrows out of the bush. Or out of the, the woods. Uh both of those hit Captain Pharaoh. Uh nice. that is thirty-four points. Oh, Nineteen hits? Captain Pharaoh, yeah, he's uh, lighter armor than the others. Got it. Uh, he is not looking great. Um, okay. That brings us to Captain Pharaoh. Um, oh. Let's see here. 
Uh, Thrax is still on him, so he's going to swing twice on Thrax. <gasps> That's a nat 20. Oh, holy oh my shit. god! Can, can we use DM inspiration <laughs> to stop that? I don't have DM inspiration. Oh no, but does it? Um, Roddy does. I, Roddy I have does. it. Can I? Can okay. I try to unroll that? That's only. That's only for your rolls. <sighs> um, uh, second attack will miss though. That is a thirty-four oh. points of damage to Thrax. Oh. Um, and then Thrax <laughs> has to make a Oof. con save. Uh, which he makes, but still 20, 27 points of damage. Um, vitals minus 27. Uh, and was that just his first? No, that was both. Uh, that brings us to Thrax. Thrax is going to uh, try and bite Captain Agnor. Uh, that'll hit five points and then two attacks with his claws. I don't know if that's actually what he gets, but that's what I'm giving him. Mm. Um, both of his claw attacks miss, uh, so that's just five points of damage <coughs> to Captain Pharaoh. Uh, that brings us to uh, the only guard who is still up other than uh, Captain Pharaoh. Uh, he's going to swing on Nori. Uh, that is a nat 20. What oh, come fuck? on! Uh, no additional oh effects, God. though. Ten points of damage, Nori. Okay. Uh, Nori, you're up. Um, oh, boy. Alrighty, so I am going to use my second wind. Um, <laughs> give me one second. So it's a d10 plus six. Okay, so eight. <clears throat> All right. Uh, and then I'm going to... The guard in front of me looks pretty rough, right? Uh, yes, he looks pretty bad. Okay. Um, um, also, to answer the question in chat, why do they? Why are they stabbing Rad's body after he's already dead? Because they have seen him fight before. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so I'm going to slap the guard in front of me with my tail. Uh, because I can use my dance of distraction to give me advantage on the hit. <laughs> and mm -hmm. then I'm going to hit him with my katana. Go for it. 21, 21 hits. Nice. Okay, excellent. Um, and then I'm going to move on to Captain Agnor. I can't switch weapons. He is, this guard is still up. He's still up? Yes. Hit him again. That only gives it's just a regular roll this time. <laughs> 11. 11 will miss. Damn. <sighs> okay. Frustrating. And you return, Nori? Yeah, I can't do anything now. Billy, death can, safe. Can Shelly show up now? <laughs> can, I, <laughs> can I just slap a treat? In, can can I, I slap one of my treats in my mouth? Yeah, actually, I can slap a tra treat in my mouth. Can the a nat, a nat 20. Billy, one. you have one hit point. You yes. <laughs> oh sit my up. God. What, the Lord. Are, what are you doing, Billy? Um, so it's, uh, Agonor's up and... One other guard. One other guard, but I'm fighting the one guard. Yeah, Agonor's right. looking rough, too. Yeah, don't worry so. about, don't worry about yeah. the one guard, I got it. Uh, what's my best weapon? Your illusion magic, use another hit die. Oh, I would be, I would be dead again. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with my sword. Okay. Oh, good. <clears throat> Does the 24 hit? 24 hits. Oh, thank uh, God. And then I'm going to use Favored Foe, which I should have been using this entire time, um, which will hit an, with an extra... Oop, uh, is this... An extra one. Extra one point of damage. And then uh, use my second attack. Um, 13 will miss. I'm going to use my point of inspiration. Okay. 16? 16 still misses. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, uh, and then whistle and waffles. Okay. Um, <laughs> waffles gets the hit here. I'm going to die. Waffles has a higher body count. <laughs> 16 misses. <laughs> it's so true. Uh, rad the dog. Rad the dog. Okay. That one guard is still up, but looks bad. Ugh. Okay, wait. 
Rad the dog now has inspiration from Emily. Rad the person's old Correct. You, <laughs> inspiration. You do have inspiration for the dog. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, still, it's fine, guys. Oh. It's fine. Still misses, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to go down fighting. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Roddy, make me a death save. All right. Here we go. Nat 20, baby. We're all up. Except for Red, I'm so sorry. That's a fail. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use my point of inspiration, inspiration? to on that. Okay. Same exact thing. Bro, what? You have GM inspiration. You do not to waste it. Used. No, you've been given inspiration as well. Yeah, oh, you have an extra. Sure if you want to wait, it, it, yeah, it's up to you if you want to use it. Let's do it again. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. I can't with no. this. No! Uh, why? That? Yes. How many fails is that? Two. Oh, just one. Uh, just one, okay. Two more <laughs> arrows are going to come out of the woods. Oh, thank God. Yes! Oh. Yes! Home. Oh, my On. God. He's killing it. Oh. Uh, that is uh, 41 points of damage. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, yes. uh, Incredible. I'm dead, because otherwise I'm dead again. <laughs> uh, you see... I. Uh, Captain Agnor I uh, stumbles to the ground uh, yes. and as he does so his sword flares to life um, and his eyes open back up you see veins just bulging in his face he steps back up uh, that is his turn he is going no. to he disengages and runs and to run. his horse <gasps> oh, oh fucking no. bitch no, you're gonna die like a man uh, that is Thrax's turn. Uh, Thrax is going to, uh, run, run an attack. Uh, he will, uh, try and bite. Kill him, Thrax. That's a nat one. Fuck! Oh, were you serious? Uh, no, no additional effect on it, though. Uh, claw attack. Uh, that is a hit. Uh, five more points on him. And eight more points, that is 13. Uh, 13 down is still up. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my goodness. Um, no. Uh, the knight is going to... Uh, let's see here. Uh, he's going to charge Thrax. I get an attack of opportunity. You yes. do get an attack of so opportunity. So does Red. The dog. Red the dog also gets yeah, an attack. Oh, I forgot you guys are standing right there. So, uh, that's fine. 24 to hit, 9 24 damage. hits, he's dead. Yes! Um, I'm going to switch to my, cross, my, uh, my crossbow. Nori. <laughs> All right, what makes what does more damage in my inventory? Hold on, give me two seconds here. It's going to be uh, a difficult shot if you're taking a range shot at him. He's through, through the trees, running towards his horse. Trees. He's a ways away. Could I... Could I could I um, enhance my vision to give myself to ignore the like coverage or ignore the like partial cover? If you spend that is that, is, you, that is a sharpshooter. If you if you spend two, uh, I will let you like do one of those like you sense everything. You like shoot it and it catches the wind just right and like spirals around. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. You. And you know what? I'm going to do you uh, one better. I'm going to use my last fighting spirit. Okay. <laughs> to give myself advantage on both the shots. Okay. Go for so, it. So, longbow attack it is. 16 to hit. 16 will miss. You do have a point you of inspiration if you want to use it. Yeah, I'm going to burn it now. Yes. We're going to try that attack again. Just roll it again, Hunter. Go for it. Just one more roll. 22. Well, that's with advantage. You only have the one okay. roll, so it'd be the first uh, one, uh, which was a nine plus three plus four, uh, uh, which is a miss again. Okay, I uh, still have one more roll. You have one more attack. Yeah. 24, 24 to hit. 24 hits. Uh, are, you shooting at, are you shooting at him or the horse that he's currently mounting? It's your call. Is 11 hit points going to take out a horse? It's, it's a beefy horse, right? There are bigger horses, yeah. Go for him. He's already. I'm going so for him. Damage. I'm going for him. Okay, eleven hit points. He hits the ground. Yes! 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 
And that's where we're gonna wrap up tonight. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh thank boy. You, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Oh Sandra. my goodness. <laughs> I will uh <sighs> We'll see. We'll see what happens next time. Oh my goodness! We've I'm got. I'm a dog. Uh, Rad is <laughs> Rad is down. I uh, the I uh, Roddy is down. Shelly is not there. Billy has one hit point. I uh, Thrax is real bad. Uh, Nori is real bad. It's yeah. rough. You know what? Um, Actually, Nori's completely fine. <laughs> He's oh, not man. that bad. If you shot the horse, I was gonna use the baddies uh, weird hit dice and pray it didn't kill me. <laughs> no, fair, 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 fair. Oh man. Oh my god. That was... I was ready to like get into full contact with him. Jesus. That was intense. Uh, okay. No, no uh, it was in a dome. It was in okay. a dome. Dude, that was simultaneously super helpful and also the worst thing that could have happened. Um, yeah. Oh man. Uh, okay. Uh, we will be back next week. Um, oh. If any, if any of you are at uh, Pax Unplugged in Philly, um, come find us. I, I, Noel and Emily and myself will all be at uh, Unplugged. Uh, come find us and say hello. Um, when does that start? Uh, I get into town. Friday. Thursday. Thursday. The show, yeah, the show starts Friday. Thursday. Um, but you want to uh, come? Maybe. Uh, it, you you should. That would be great. Um, maybe. Okay. I'm coming down Thursday if you want to. <clears throat> we'll we'll talk later. We'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon, um, Neo Gamer. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a raid um, over to our friends at Total Party Chill. I'm gonna um, go get a big burrito and a Mexican pizza. Uh, <laughs> Comfort food, I, I understand. Have mm -hmm. have a great rest of your week, guys. Remember to embrace the nonsense. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>